Let's go. Welcome, everyone. How's it going? Uh, I hope you understand. You're at a weird angle to me, so I'm just going to move this way, and we're going to talk this way, OK? Uh, but yeah, welcome to GTA uh, 3 Titan Thrice. I'm going to give you a quick rundown uh, before we get started as to what this is. If you're familiar with Kaizo mods, then that's basically what this is. If you're not, then it's an ultra hard mode for GTA 3 that essentially like changes a lot of the missions to make them really difficult and essentially messes with speedrunners like muscle memory and stuff as well. Uh, we'll be on the couch. I have Josh making himself very... Extremely comfy, Josh. Extremely yeah, that's good. I like Josh. This, and this he, is good yeah, for me. He's at home as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. And Nico is joining us, I believe, somewhere. Yeah, he's... When it, whenever he comes around. He's on his way. Yeah, no worries. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, should be good. Should be a good time. And uh, should we get started, or am I waiting for Nico? No, no, you go, dude. I'll go? Okay. Yeah. Do you, right. you have a button? I can't reach him. Uh, yeah, I have a button. Okay, all right. This one? Let's go. Probably right. that one. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Three. Start? Yeah, good stuff. Right. So, uh, there's going to be like the commentary for this and explaining how everything works is kind of going to be in like two sections. So, my section is going to be explaining how all the missions are different compared to vanilla GTA 3. And then I've demoted Josh to explaining all the boring stuff that I don't like explaining over and over again, which is, you know, basically how like GTA speedrunning works. Right? Yeah, yeah. I can do so, some basic stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, for the first five minutes or so, Josh is going to be all right because these missions are like, you know, tutorials. There isn't anything super broken that we can do in them. But as you can see, if you're familiar with GTA 3, we're starting off very differently. And this is actually interesting, this has never happened before. So usually, I would meet the car, the van that I'm supposed to be chasing, which you don't usually do in the vanilla game, right here. But it's all the way back here for some reason, and I'm not sure why, but yes. We need to get out here, and I don't like these cops being here. Um, but essentially, we just need to steal it and get it back to the hideout. Usually, you just drive straight to the hideout. But as you can imagine, this is kind of like a bit of a, a chaotic segment, even just to begin with. So yeah, this mod is entirely based around messing about with missions and you know screwing over speedrunners but it goes so much deeper than that like the mod uh, developer dinosaur bites he's an absolute legend he was the one who did uh, titan vice if you watched me do that vice city last year and as you saw in titan vice as well and it's even more so in here and with titan dreas that you'll see josh doing later on the amount of work that he has put in in order to like you know remodel entire different sections and things like that like the amount of changes that he's done is right like awesome here. welcome Let's nico the street and change how's it going you all good getting comfy oh sorry i'm ruining i'm ruining uh, it. I'm, you got sorry. It. You got I'm sorry you good yeah all good all right so um here we're gonna go this is like the like the intro bit right so we've gone to where we would usually go in vanilla with the safe house there you go. I'm getting tugged on. No, you're good? fine. Good, you good? go Ben. Okay, yeah, you're good. good, good, good. Luckily, there's like 30 seconds of nothing here, so you're not putting me Three, up. perfect. Yes. So uh, then we'll see some more changes going ahead. So I've got to go to Luigi's Club. This is all exactly the same as what you do in vanilla. But then we're going to start the first like official mission, as I'd call it, okay? So with, with this one here, we have to go and pick up Misty from the hospital. Yeah, all good. Uh, he's talking to tech. Oh, okay. Ben, sorry. come on, you know how there's like... <laughs> okay, man. I, I don't know if you could hear that on stream or what. I don't know. Okay. So, we're going to go and pick up Misty from the hospital. But as you can see, and this will give you a very good idea as to how these kind of mod work, mods work in terms of like the kind of changes that they do. And you might think, you know, how do you make it more difficult? Well, this is how. So, in GTA 3 normally, you can never have your tires pop. That wasn't a thing until Vice City. But in this, you can get your tires popped. Wait, he added tire popping? Yes, oh my did. god. Uh, yeah, even, <laughs> even though I said to the mod developer, because obviously he's in our community, I said, like, that is such an awful change just because of how, like, <laughs> terrible it is to, like, just not be able to drive with any of your tires. And in this mission, 70% of your time, you'll lose a tire because of those guys shooting you. So those oh, aren't really As you can see, my tires are now gone. Luckily, it's a front one. If a front tire gets popped, you're usually okay. You just can't really turn as much. If you get your two back tires popped, it's like driving on ice and you just start flinging about everywhere. It's really good stuff. It just so happens as well that this van is really good at driving with a pop tire. So it's kind of like fortunate, right? Um, but if you get like a stallion, for example, if you guys are familiar with OG GTA 3, vanilla stallions are bad enough as it is. And, uh, oh, my thing is what on fire. Okay. The... So this is an interesting thing. Okay, so... For later on, uh, I, we'll have to explain this way later <laughs> on, but uh, all that you need to know is that um, I was practicing before and I had like a mod menu installed to practice and I forgot to disable it. So if I hold middle mouse button and look behind me, then uh, it will fling me in that direction for some reason. <laughs> That's my bad, but it's all good. Oh, I don't need it, oh so it's God. all fine. Yeah, Everything else is good. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> this guy might be in trouble now because if I go a bit slow to this, he's going to shoot me with this shotgun and this wouldn't usually be a problem. 
But if I can go, okay, I'm dead. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's chaos, as okay. you can see. But it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. So usually this would be quite bad, right? But the benefit of this uh, mod, I don't even get time to explain everything before it starts going wrong with these chaotic mods. The oh, good yeah, thing you're, you're is a skeleton. that it, yeah, also I'm a skeleton. Yeah, yeah that's good. But the good thing is that it has an auto save feature, Mo mainly for like you know potential crashes and things like that. But it does also mean that it adds, it adds quite a lot of safety, which is nice. Uh, we do also have like manual backup saves that I might have to use later on, just in case things go wrong, because you know crashes and stuff can happen, or I can forget that I had a mod menu installed and break the game. I think the autosave is just a, it's a good change for casuals because most people just save after every mission anyways. It's, yeah, it's it, and for like marathon speed runs like this, it's yes. like, yeah, you don't, you don't need a folder of 20 million saves in. Yeah, yes, it's, it's it, it is change. nice. But then it also actually does in GTA 3 and probably SA as well because they have time-gated missions. It does actually kind of make things difficult in terms of routing because it changes the time of day. And also, missions are only available at a certain times of day as well. No, they fixed that in SA. Oh, they did? Okay. Yeah, so this guy is still shooting me. I got a really bad car <laughs> here. Don't okay. die. <laughs> so this is why I gave a really generous estimate deliberately. Yeah. So yeah, yeah this, this seems ridiculous, and I assure you it is. But it's simply because I got a really slow car. And for some reason, if you get a slow car here and you're not fast enough, as you can see, there's like no decent cars here. Um, if I take a slow car to this, the guy will just get out and shoot me over and over again. Usually, I would have the van, which wouldn't be a problem. But it's set on fire due to the mod menu and yeah, chaos ensuing. But it's fine. We have a very generous estimate, so I'm not worried. Uh, so this taxi is more than enough, so I'm going to get it before the mission, and then we'll use this for this one. Yeah, but yeah. you'll see how the mission is supposed to go, and how quickly it can devolve. You've already seen the bad part of an easy mission, but then this one will go, hopefully, assuming nothing goes wrong. Yeah, we're, it we're, should go fine. With like how hard this is, right? Like this is like what the second or third mission of the game. Exactly, there's and an there's enemy a guy that, with two shots. Yeah, two shots. Yeah. You, the, uh, yeah, you have like yeah. nothing. But then you'll see, like, if if this all goes really well and I get there quick enough, I don't know why this happens. Like he aggro's at a certain point. But if you can get to him quick enough, he doesn't get out at all, and I can just yeah. So I'm I'm confident about this. This is how it's supposed to go. Right. Yeah, you just yeah. throw him out. He doesn't even do anything. He doesn't even react to you at all. So then you can just back up a little bit. You have to kill him. And you just run him over, and that's it. You drive away. That's how it's supposed to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, well, hold on. You, know right, it, yeah. you know what it is. Marathon luck <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. But it, it also is a good showcase to show you, like as you say, how quickly things can devolve in this run, right? So now, after all that, the, I can actually very easily fail this mission again, and it's entirely my fault if I do, and I'll tell you why. So usually, in vanilla GTA 3, um, you have to pay and spray this car, and you have to get it back into the lockup, right? If you crash, you just have to come back to the pay and spray, right? Because you, you need to hand it in, it's not damaged. If I crash this car even slightly now, the mission just instantly fails. So I've got to be very careful uh, to... Uh, I didn't mean to press that, that's fine. It's Getting out doesn't matter. Yeah, Dinosaur loves changes like that. There's like mm -hmm. stuff, there's like the mission in SA where like that you have to steal a car from a guy. And if you don't, it's not doesn't tell you you have to kill the guy. But if you don't kill the guy when you get to the end of the mission, you fail because it's like, hey, he has a phone, you know. Yeah, exactly. He just phones yeah. the guy. It's like you've got to do it the logical way. Yeah, you know, yeah. Everyone yeah, says yeah. about GTA logic. You've actually got to follow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Or like if you have wanted stars and you take a vehicle to a hideout, it's like you let the police here. What are you doing? Yeah, Fail, lol. Exactly. Yeah. So let's do some glitches, shall we? So this is what we call a mega jump right there. Oh, this yeah. is where I would usually get the skull outfit and talk about it, but we already spoiled it a little bit. And then I'm also going to mega jump again and intentionally die. And the reason for that is what we alluded to earlier. So usually uh, when you save the game or you die or get busted, it actually sends the in-game clock forward. So if I've just beaten that mission there, and then I go to start a mission later on, I won't be in time for it, so I would have to like die or save the game or whatever. So the reason why it's a problem is because every time the autosave triggers, it counts as though you've saved the game, so it's, it puts you forward six hours. Mm -hmm. So I need to, the autosave triggers, and I'm no longer in time, so then I need to mega jump again to intentionally die. We'll get into mega jumping later. Um, and that puts me then back on time for the mission because it teleports me 12 hours forward. Uh, yeah. Josh, are you familiar with mega jumping, or do you want me to? Uh, you play a replay, you punch, you jump, and you fly. Oh, this didn't really work. I was expecting that you would start give a long thing, and then I can interrupt you. <laughs> so, <laughs> that didn't really work. Oh, sorry. So what I was going to do, Josh was going to go, oh, so the way you mega jump, and I would go, hold it, Josh, there's two tanks coming up. <laughs> so, so not only two tanks, but there's Lionator and Eidgod. If you guys don't know, uh, this is a reference to the original Toughen mod that came in GTA 3. In Toughen, you got attacked by a tank here, and it was like Misty's ex-boyfriend or something that was angry. So Dinosaur Bites decided to go, well, one, we can't just have one tank. We've got to have two or possibly three, because there's also one here. Right? <laughs> uh, 
And also, it's a, you know, it's like an Easter egg reference, right? Speaking of Easter egg references, I'm going to quickly show you something as well because we've got a bit of time. Uh, this ambulance here, fun fact for you, I actually got once, I got a locked ambulance eight times in a row, and it's a 30% chance to get locked. <laughs> so Dinosaur Bites gave this reserved for English Ben. <laughs> so I, I, I got, you know, mugged off, you know. Yeah. I, 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 all my, oh, Misty got run over as well. Okay, great. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, good. Luckily, we can go back and do the mission. Uh, that, that's what I get for you showing it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what even is that? That That's is one of the donation amounts. So when somebody donates something, it's like hundred dollars. They will be able to get a certain cursed soundbite. You were thinking about like where did that Mario? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was. That I was, was confused about that. Twenty-five dollars or above will get you that Mario Wahoo. Okay, good to know. <laughs> So it's not just the game flaming me or something, you know? Like, you know, when you, hear, you, you know when you hear about like mod developers and they have like a server and they can like hack the game real time to like mess with you? I was, was like, that, oh, was Dinosaur that? Bites is at it again. Yeah. All right, so let's do this mission properly and we'll talk about the tanks and stuff. But now we can talk about, yeah, Mega Jumps. So how Mega Jumps work, like technically, doesn't really matter and we'd be here all day and, you know, like the code monkeys in the GTA community would start screaming that we're wrong and like, you know, getting really annoyed at us. But the important things that you need to remember is that um, if you get launched at that kind of an velocity, you know, you saw me just get launched at the speed of sound. Um, if you get launched and you don't stop your fall somehow, like for example, by hitting a wall or like falling so far that you eventually lose that um, speed and momentum, then you'll be in trouble because you'll just straight up die. So as you saw before, you can use it to your advantage, but also you've got to be very careful with where you mega jump. Because if you just do it sort of willy-nilly, you'll just drop dead. And that's like not good, right? Because then you'll fast forward 12 more hours and you'll have to die again to fix it. And it just becomes like a whole mess. Not that this isn't already a mess, but you know, you can get more messy is what I'm trying to imply. So I wouldn't usually switch to the ambulance there. I wanted to just show you the uh, Easter egg. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna grab a cop car. Uh, usually in vanilla, these things actually have a percentage chance to be locked, but the ambulance and the two cop cars, they actually are always unlocked. So it is nice that like all of the like RNG look aspect has been modded out. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like raw difficulty. Like a lot of the time when you fail, as you've seen, it's mostly your fault just messing around doing stuff. It's very rare that you'll fail stuff to, due to, you know, things that aren't. Yeah, yeah. Di Dinosaur has tried to make the runs really consistent, difficult. But we're consistent. Exactly. Yeah, and it's a thing Twitch chat doesn't understand because whereas we're developing <laughs> Clayton Dreyus, yeah. like Twitch chat keeps suggesting things to like, oh, the, you should randomly die for no reason, lol. That would be <laughs> difficult. But it's yeah. just like, well, then you can't ever run it, right? So yeah, the, the, car, the, the ambulance and the police car not being locked is like, that, that's like 90% of runs of GTA 3. You just die at the police car when you try to get it, right? Yeah. Josh's chat is like so good to read when they, when all the armchair expert game developers come in <laughs> and they start talking about it and it's like, okay, Josh, I've got a really good idea for a mission. So you start the mission and you flip a coin and if you lose that coin toss, you die. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, oh wow, that's so engaging, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Such good gameplay, great, great idea. Yeah. So here we're on a slightly tight time limit, but I have just enough time to go up here and seemingly run into a random spot. I need to get into that car, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to run up here, and I'm going to seemingly just press all the random keys and then walk away. And Josh is going to tell you exactly what I'm doing here. This requires quite a bit of explanation, so I'll give Josh the floor. Oh, here. God. Okay, GTA 3. Yeah. So you are recording a replay, I'm assuming, of a, bro of a, of a rampage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the PC versions of the 3D era GTA games, there's a functionality called replays. You can press F1, 2, or 3, and you can, uh, we'll just skip some of it, but you can record a replay of something you've done. It makes like a little demo file. It's inspired by like, the old games that had demo files. Um, and if he presses a button now, he'll watch himself at, at the replay point where he just made. Um, so he's done some things to make the replay really short. It doesn't matter. But basically, he's going to press a button, and we'll watch uh, Claude uh, be back where he just was. Uh, uh, the thing is, they're kind of buggy and they didn't really anticipate you picking things up in the replays. So what, what, he re well, what he just did, he went to where a rampage marker is. A rampage marker is like a little thing you can pick up. It starts a mini game where you have to kill a bunch of people or whatever, uh, but it gives you like a gun and stuff. Um, so what he did, he recorded a replay of Claude stood over where a rampage is if he isn't on a mission already. So later, I assume you're going to start a mission and watch the replay start the rampage at the same time? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So he's going to do, uh, it's a, a well-known GTA speedrunning trick of all 3D era GTA games called uh, On Mission Zero. Um, he's going to uh, trick the game into letting him start two missions at once, which does a lot of complicated technical wizardry that I don't know exactly the GTA 3 things for, but uh, it's going to get real technical real fast. Yeah. 
So this mission, like the big thing, is that you have rain, which makes things slower. You have less of a time limit. And then also you have that van that is locked there that you have to drive out of the way in order to get it. Um, but once you've done all that, then that's mission done. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice, it kind of works out nicely because we have a nice couple of minutes to talk before things get kind of broken. So what I'm going to do here is after I finished, the reason why I grabbed that cop car, uh, cop car excuse me, all the way back during the previous mission is for two reasons. Number one, it gives me five shotgun shells that I can use for a mission later on, and we'll talk about that. But the main important thing is when I press this button here, you can see I activate Vigilante, mm. which is like the police mission that I can activate wherever I want. And it, me being able to activate it wherever I want is the really important thing. So I'm going to hold down my Vigilante key, so not quite start it yet. Then I'm going to play that replay that we just talked about, which is where I picked up the Rampage, and I'm going to cancel the Vigilante mission. So now I am on mission zero, which is like free roam mode, but I'm on a rampage, okay? So usually this is where we'd start talking about mission duping and all this kind of stuff, but thankfully this is more of like an introduction because we're not actually going to do something super broken with it yet. All that we're going to do is we're going to keep this rocket launcher yeah, okay. from the rampage because usually you wouldn't have access to rockets here. And I'm going a really weird route here, and I'll show you why. Because if you were to trigger this next guy, he would start driving around in a really fast car and he's really hard to chase down. But if you go around here, you skip the trigger and he's just sat right there. I'm going to shoot two rockets at him, which blows him up past the mission, and I'm going to go and load the autosave. And if you load a save while you have an on mission zero rampage running, you actually get to keep the ammo from it. So every rampage in this game gives you 30,000 of whatever ammo you have. So I have now just obtained 30,000 rockets just by doing that little trick. With one simple trick. Yeah, one well, simple trick. How to, you know, experts hate S him. Simple <laughs> trick. Eight out yeah. of ten doctors. Exactly, oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. So uh, the other reason why I got the cop car that I mentioned before the five shotgun shells is for now. And it's just worth mentioning, this mission is like one of those ones that just like goes really well or really, really horribly. And uh, so you have to get a van, right? Uh, wait, I have a van. There, the person that I'm currently going to go and deal with also has a van. And he has two random patterns. I've got the bad one, so this is always good in a marathon. And I need to go and park my car in front of him and I need to do a enough damage to not blow him up because the van has like a damage meter to basically say that he's going to get out and let me have the van if I do enough damage to it. But you could like ram into it infinitely and just like keep colliding with it, but that takes forever. So I'm going to park it a specific one away, shoot it with the shotgun, and it should hopefully do enough damage. Now, as you can see, now a police officer has an AK-47 and is pointing it right at me. <laughs> and also, if I crash this too much, it will set on fire because it's on really low health now. Also, the cops are coming after me and they can ram into me. And also, if we're going to keep going, uh, all of the bribe stars and stuff that we would use have been completely moved. So they all have different locations. And this one that I have, uh, if I were to get three stars, which sometimes happen if I, if I get enough, uh, like, you know, please attention, then I would just get the bribe star over there and it's on fire. There you go. <laughs> I, I bunked it the tiniest bit. Yeah, so here we go. Uh, but it gives me enough time to explain stuff, thankfully. Um, so if you get two stars, which means you haven't... Hello, uh, there goes a th half of my health instantly as soon as I come in. Yeah, these guys are like the one thing where it's like, I would consider this like random nonsense. Right? Oh, here we I, go. Ben no, with the yeah, random here spawns. We go. Here we go. I, I talk about this a lot on my stream. Uh, so if you're familiar with it, you'll know I talk about it all the time. But I think it's worth saying, like, I spawn in there <laughs> and a random guy spawns in and shoots me for half of my health. That is nonsense. Let's be real. Like, come on. <laughs> So Ooh. if I take half damage now and die as a result of it, not my fault. I will never forget that thing Absolutely. that happened in Titan Dreyas that was so funny. Which it, one? So you were you were playing Titan Dreyas. Get out of the way! <laughs> you were do you were doing a mission where like there's some ballers around that like. Oh, I do remember this. Yeah, yeah there were some ballers and they have like pistols or whatever. Yeah. And then you were like you had to fight them and then a random spawn happened and they all had micro SMGs and then you were like, <laughs> oh my god, dinosaur bites! Why did you add so many enemies with micro SMGs? Turns out. And I'm just, just laughing my ass off in chat. It's just random spawns killed you. Yeah. There's another random spawn killing you. It was so. <laughs> of course it is. See, look, I'm on 10 HP now. I would have oh. been, on, I would have been on like 60 if it wasn't for that round. And it didn't spawn. matter. Saying, it hey, didn't matter. You're alive. I haven't beat the mission yet. You don't know. <laughs> I might just walk outside and just trip over my shoelaces oh, and drop dead, and you wouldn't, you would, you know, you wouldn't know anything about it. Let's go. So, as we were saying, this bribe star is actually up here instead. So oh, there's now a the? ramp. Here. <laughs> Right? I haven't seen so, that. Okay. The best part about that previous attempt is even if I didn't clip that bus, I would have hit the ramp and set on fire anyway. Yeah. Luckily, these guys shooting at you doesn't matter. It, the van is bulletproof, but it's nothing else. So like that guy shooting at me is no threat. But if I bonk the tiniest like lamppost or something, it's mission over, just like that.
And I've also got to make sure, because I picked up a police bribe, I need my wanted level to expire, because also Dinosaur Bites loves to put in mission failure states right at the end of a mission, where if I had a wanted level now and I put this in the garage, it'd be like, yeah, lol, yeah. the police are just going to find it, and that would be it, and I would fail the mission. So I've got to wait for my wanted level to expire, because when you have a single star, like I did, two stars and above don't expire by themselves, apart from very specific circumstances in San Andreas that you'll see later on. Um, but in GTA 3, they don't expire by themselves like at all, right? So, you, But when you have a one-star wanted level, as long as you don't commit any crimes and you kind of keep to yourself, they will go away eventually. So if I were to go towards the um, section there with the, where I'm putting the van into the garage and I run somebody over or something or I hit a police car, then I just have to wait for a minute until my wanted level expires, and it's very silly. The thing that's really funny with all those little traps that he uh, Dinosaur Bites puts in is he always puts a box of text or something that says, like, oh, don't lead the police to the end or you'll, you'll fail. No one ever reads the box, oh, no. the tool tips Abs that come up. Absolutely. Like, it, ha how many people watching this run have read the black boxes that appear at the top left with text in it? I that, even, like, say a thing. I haven't noticed. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's like Dino Suffice is like, you better read it or you're going to fail. You have to yeah. read everything. And every single page are in GTA yeah. 3 as well. It's like, if I were to, like, play a game for the first time, I would read the text and stuff. But, you know, like, when I'm playing a mod of a game that I've already played, I just Wait, assume yeah. that it's saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, all this dialogue is the same. I'm not going to read this, you know? So the difference in this mission is we're with our boy Tony, we're working our way up to the Mafia, and our boy Tony gets shot and we need to take him to, uh, usually you take him to like his hideout and that would be it, it's a really quick mission. However, we don't do that in this. We take him to a Mafia doctor, but the Mafia doctor is on a island that we need to do like a ramp stunt jump to. <laughs> And oh, yeah. fun fact for you, because GTA physics are so, like, inconsistent, until patch 1.9, which is the newest patch, this was a straight 50-50 whether you'd pass the mission or not. Like, you would hit the ramp, and sometimes you would just go flying off and fail the mission, and then 50% of the time you'd land it perfectly well. Luckily, the mod developer was nice, and for the newest patch, they extended it so it's a bit closer. So now even if you get, like, a weird bounce, you'll still make it. I'll say that and then fail anyway. But... Yeah, yeah, you should have. You, yeah. should have been, you should have waited to be like, oh, it's 50-50 anyway. Yeah, I won the coin flip, guys. <laughs> but now it's like, oh, yeah, 1% oh, yeah, yeah. chance for it to fail, and it'll fail anyway. This yeah. stupid little island. Yeah. yeah, this little thing over here. So we're going to send it off. This is a bad jump. If there was on a previous patch, I would have failed the mission. Oh. But we're good. All calculated. Let's go. All right, just do a bit of Austin Powers. There we go. Yeah. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Do you know what's funny as well? How we were talking about my low health total and how it would have been bad? It's actually faster to have low health at this point. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna death warp anyway. So. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, Yeah, I guess they get off the island. Yeah, there's there. health yeah. here, but yeah, we're just gonna use this. Yeah, here we go. Do you have time for a few donations? Go for it. Awesome, right, we've got a lot coming in actually. We've got $40 from G Chris. We're Chris with no um, comment, but uh, they do claim themselves a uh, winter t shirt as well, so GG on the t shirt gets. We've got $80 from Kata. That's why you heard the. Uh, 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 it's, okay, you're okay. too slow. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's over fifty dollars. <laughs> they get themselves a winter T-shirt as well, and they also put their uh, they, they get a Goosebird T-shirt as well. So they're going to two for one. Nice, nice. and put their money towards the uh, parts of the Caribbean, the video game. Put a disguise in all the characters. I'll have to check where we're at for that uh, target soon as well. Uh, Frederick donates forty dollars. That says, "Yay! It's, 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 it is time again. Time for an incredible week of ESA." They get themselves an ESA winter shirt. Nicely got, and thank you so much for that donation. I'll do one more quickly, and that is $15 from Potato. Comment, Potato. Thank you, Potato. Yeah. Wonderful. Very kind of you. Um, yeah, so this mission is like a very infamous GTA mission that you'll see in loads of the different games, just in different variants. Oh, yeah, three vans. Uh, three vans, three cars, whatever it is. So this is three vans. Uh, we set up the rampage again because we died, so we lost the rockets, but we can just set it up at any other time as long as we have a mission with an autosave. So this is just like a convenient thing because I believe from memory, I, it's been a while since I did this mission like a little legit way and not just with 30,000 rockets, but I think they're bulletproof. Yeah. So rockets is like the logical thing. It's way faster anyway because you can just destroy them regardless. Um, but yeah, so we need to ideally, um, the, these guys are completely like, you know, random in their pattern where they go. So ideally you want them to be as close to Tony's as possible, but it's not really a big deal if they're not. Like this guy is kind of driving a bit south, but it's like, 20 seconds difference, it doesn't really make a big deal. The important thing is that you beat this mission and have an auto save there. Um, so the, the car will set on fire in a few seconds. It's and as fun. long as the car sets on fire and then I finish the mission before that rampage expires, then I can do the same thing again, load the auto save, I've got the 30,000 rockets back, so on and so forth, and then we just drive back. Um, so yeah, this next mission is like a very tricky one. 
It's called the pickup, and essentially you have to go into like a really tight space. But my only weapon is a rocket launcher. And <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. If I like shoot a rocket or they shoot my rocket, which can happen, like I can shoot a rocket at them and they'll shoot it in midair, and it will just kill me instantly. So I've got to be like very careful, and also the AI kind of needs to treat me well. Um, but yeah, you, you have to go through a like a, a little. I think it's like a fish factory or something. I don't remember what the lore is. And you have to shoot your way through with the rockets, and then you get ambushed at the end. And you have to blow up like a, a van and a bunch of other dudes that are all coming at you in like a really tight space with a load of different obstacles. Um, and you've got to be very, very careful with it. So. Do you mind if I interrupt with a quick donation? Go ahead. Dinosaur Bites donates $10. and says, Ben, I think this is on an old patch, judging from the low screens. Not sure how that happened, but watch the route. 1.8 dodos won't be there. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Oh my god. Okay. I patched this. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need to explain to the audience, right? Oh, here we go. Ben oh, he's made an agreement <laughs> with Tech before the run <laughs> that he didn't need to set up his game before his run because he was a professional and knew what he was doing. True. We then proceeded to have nothing but issues during setup, like keyboard not working, mouse not working, game weren't working, needed to be wrong audio levels. And now you're telling me that. Oh, are you, oh, sorry, you had a mod installed as well that when you hold mouse, middle mouse, you. Speed that backwards. explains why the mod menu is there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're telling me you're running an Where's old patch and the mod dev has to donate to tell you that you're running the wrong <laughs> patch of the game <laughs> in the rush. <laughs> Thank you, Dinosaur Bite. Uh, I, don't I, mean, think, yeah. I don't think Tears ever going to let you live this down, Ben. I think <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm I installed my game weeks ago, Ben. <laughs> I installed my... Okay, right. <laughs> So let me just concentrate and then I'll fire back at you. Okay, give me a second. I, I've just got ambushed with seven HP. Give me a second. If I survive, then it's all good, right? Give me a sec. No, okay, instantly dead. <laughs> but okay, so let, let, we'll do that again. So in my defense, okay, let me give you some further context, whether you agree with me or not. So. Uh, when you go to submit your like runs to ESA, you send like the files over to Tia like remotely, okay? <laughs> and at the time, that was the newest patch, okay? So I sent everything over and did everything correct. But then Dinosaur Bites decided to patch the game in your make... favor. Yeah, in my favor, <laughs> <laughs> admittedly. But he decided to patch the game, right? And then the old patch was still on the computer. And I could have sworn I updated it to the new one, but the new one is on the other PC. But the reason why I'm on this PC is because they wanted me to sit on a sofa instead, and there's all sorts of different stuff going on there. <laughs> like, that's why there's a sofa behind me. It was originally planned for me to sit on there. I don't want to sit on there. I want to sit on a chair. So the reason why is because I'm sat on a chair, and that's why this whole thing didn't work. <laughs> the chair's that's, that's fault. It's the chair's fault. <laughs> so but no, it doesn't matter. Oh, there, there was some yeah. uh, new strats that work on the new patch, but it doesn't make a difference. Like, it's going to make a very small amount of difference, too, so don't worry. Uh, the important thing is that I get through the missions unscathed. You know, I, I always say these, these mods are like a survivability thing more than anything, you know? Like, I'm not trying to go fast. I'm just trying to, yeah. you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> trying to get through by the skin it, of my Yeah, if you make it through, like, the mission, if you just pass the mission, it's, yeah. like, so much better than just it, exactly, quickly, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, as Josh remembers, if you guys watched my UKSG run where I did Titan Vice there, like, the, at the end, it, it wasn't, oh, GG, Ben, good job. It was, how did you finish that? Like, yeah, how did yeah, you manage yeah, to beat yeah, the game yeah, yeah, yeah. when it was in that horrific state? Like, just, oh, God, it was good. Hello, officer. Right. Yeah, yeah. these Titans runs, it is like a miracle you can finish it at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And, you know, you do, you do your best with, like, rooting and stuff, but sometimes there's only so much you can do. Yeah. Yeah, my, my route is my route's pretty much vanilla for, yeah. like, right. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to do vanilla. Not even cool. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yes. So, we have a much better health total this time, so we should be okay. And these are all the guys that ambush you. This is what I mean, like, you're in such a tiny little space. So you see, I took quite a bit of damage there. I don't like that this guy is this close. Mm. Okay. I think we're good. He survived. Okay. Okay, we're good. Nice. This guy's gonna die to the explosion. Yeah, all good. Now, I've got to get out here with 20 HP and 4 star wanted level, but that's usually okay. But this is what I mean, like, this mission is super sketch, like, easily one of the most sketch missions. You can take a second to heal, but a lot of the time, even on 100 HP, it won't save you. And there isn't really a convenient way to get armor at this point. So, yeah, yeah like 100 HP is not a lot for this at all. Yeah, getting the difficulty curve of these mods is pretty difficult. Oh, yeah. Especially once speedrunners start changing the route. Like, mm. Yeah. Like, exactly. casually, this would be fine because you'd have armor and equipment and stuff. Yeah, you, you prepare for each mission. Yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't get that liberty. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just trying to make, make it work from next to. Exactly. But the, one of the hardest missions in Titan Dreyas is a car dancing mission. 
Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the hardest part. Yes. So here I'm going to do another thing, uh, more auto save uh, shenanigans here. So if you load a save, you lose your wanted level. So as you said, I finished that mission but kept the wanted level. But then if I load my save, I then lose it, which is nice because I don't have to do this with four stars. This mission is also one of those ones that if you go to like certain segments and you have a wanted level, then it won't let you continue. It doesn't fail you, but it doesn't let you go ahead. So yeah, got to be careful with it. Um, I say that as I get a wanted yeah, level. Yeah, But that's, that's just from stealing a car, so hopefully it should... It's pretty low chaos. Yeah, yeah ex exactly, yeah. So, like, the wanted level system isn't a strict, like, you have one star, you've done, like, one crime or something. It's based on, like, quite a complex system where, like, you know, the degree of crime that you've committed gives you more points. And then once you get to a certain point threshold, then you get start getting the wanted stars. So, stealing a car, as you saw, it gave me a one star wanted level, but it only had it for, like, 10 seconds or so. But if I were to, like, then shoot the guy, I would still have one star, but it would stay for a lot longer because yeah. I would have way more chaos points. How you doing? So here we're gonna, gonna go in quite a slow limo. We're gonna pick, pick up um, a bunch of dudes that we've got in the Mafia. And there's a new strat here um, that is very silly. And the mod developer actually came up with it. So <laughs> the mod developer has probably come up with more strats in this route than I have at this point. He come up, comes up with some great ideas. Um, and essentially it's a really silly one. So this mission, the change, is that you go and pick up all the guys in the limo. And then usually you would get ambushed once you get to Tony. And the ambush is slightly different. So you get launched out the car, and then the guy with the limo drives off. And there's a bunch of vans and stuff coming after you, and then you have to like hunt down the guy with the limo. But Dinosaur Bites realized that if you just park the limo, he forgot when he was developing it, or intentionally, I don't know which way, he forgot to like reset the limo's position. So if you just park it backwards, he then just like drives into a wall, <laughs> and then you can just steal it again yeah. right away. <laughs> like I don't know if it was an intended thing or not, but yeah. It's a very funny thing developing for speedrunners because yeah, yes. it's like once you like, oh, it's a strat. Like the dev forgot to reverse the car. The dev himself could just do it. Yeah. But it's just like, nah, I let it happen. It's like uh, it's very weird to yeah, balance exactly. this. Yeah. Doing this on 20 HP is also very sketch, by the way. But yeah, I think you, I think you understand at this point. There's, yeah. there's, there's no such thing as a non-sketch part. Yeah, yeah, the whole run is sketch. That's yeah, the point. Exactly. So ideally, he will not only run into the wall, but he'll run into like that little section at Tony's place, and then it's just really easy to steal. But you never know with this kind of stuff. Ah, uh, this is good enough. Yeah, I think that's pretty smart. No, come back! Oh, no. Uh, okay, almost got run over. You got smoke the car though, is that? Uh, that's fine. So on GTA 3, uh, you might think that the car is really low health, but it actually isn't. It's, it's pretty good. Oh, okay, In GTA okay. 3 on PC specifically, for some reason, they like broke the smoke. Right. So as soon as you crash once, you have like light smoke. So if, if whether you're 99% health or 9% health, you have light smoke. Right, oh, okay, okay. So you'll see here, I mean, I might eat my words, I've been doing it quite a few times, but in all of my practice runs, I go in here, this shotgun guy shoots me, and see, I'm good. There you go. Okay. I didn't eat my words. I was fully expecting it to blow me up at this point. <laughs> you know, like, with, with, with where we've got to at this point, it's just fully to be expected. I am going to heal on this next mission, because 20 health on this next mission is even more sketchy than you know we could even mention. And it also requires using, like, trying to manipulate AI into doing what I want it to do. And sometimes the AI that is following me can take forever. And if that happens, then I just get shot a bunch, and it's just not worth it. So we're going with Maria, and we've got to go and take her to her dealer's place. Um, I'm trying to think most convenient place to heal. Probably just, like, hospital, I guess. It's not super ideal, but... Um trying to think off the top of my head. Because also the health pickups and stuff, if I didn't mention before, not just crop, crop bribes, but all the health pickups and stuff have also moved. So yeah, we'll just um, go to the hospital. But not the one at the hospital? Uh, no, the hospital ones are still there, but all like the random ones. Like, oh, uh, okay, stuff sure, sure, yeah. yeah. I um, thought you were going to like, use an ambulance or something. No. Does that heal you in this game? Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I think there's usually two pickups here, but maybe there's, there's one of them now. I don't remember. Something like that. The ambulance, if you get it, it does give you 20 health. Yeah, yeah, it's not full health, yeah. Yeah. Um, in Toughened, which is the one that I did at like Winter 21, they removed all of them. So you couldn't heal at all unless you like got in an ambulance. That was like the only way to heal. <laughs> which is like brutal if you think about it. Because you like take a bunch of damage for a mission and there's no way, because like saving doesn't, doesn't heal. Doesn't heal you in free. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Loading the save doesn't heal you, anything like that. Okay, so this is where it gets kind of tricky because we're going to go up uh, to the dealer's place but and then there's going to be a bunch of guys. We, we should say quick that all of these interiors are added by oh. dinosaur bites. Yes. These exactly. interiors are not in the base game. That one with the boxes, the warehouse earlier, that's yeah. not in the base game. He yeah, added all of that. You can't enter that building. Usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same with this one. Yeah, this is all new building. Yeah. 
I, I did touch on that briefly, but yeah, it, it goes to show when you can visualize it just how cool yeah, yeah, like, like Dinosaur Bytes has done. Where, like all the cool stuff that he's like implemented. So here she's at the dealer, and then there's a bunch of guys, and I ideally you don't want to go down and fight them, right? So instead, I'm going to hop down here, hold shift, which makes Maria jump after me. Yes. Oh, good. sick. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, this guy, I want to kill this dude just to be safe. And this dude. But the important thing is that Maria jumped down. Sometimes she gets stuck, which is very annoying, and then you have to go back up and fight all the dudes. And that's where I would have started taking a bunch of damage on 20 health and would have been probably... Wait, is like, shift jump or sprint here? Shift is sprint, of course. Oh, okay. Oh, it's hard. Yeah. Let's not get into I'm that, not a freak but... like no, you. No, 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 no. Let's not start this, but... I, I wasn't sure if you're holding you're holding sprint so that Maria herself sprints. Yes. Because exactly, yeah, the, the yeah. AI is trying to copy your movement speed. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So I held shift, which is the sprint button, <laughs> the correct sprint button. If I were to hold space, that would be wrong because shift is sprint. Just so we make that very clear. John. Sure, man. Okay, what are you? Yes. Okay, I mean? glad we've sorted that out. So yeah, held my shift button, and that made Maria come down after me, which is fantastic. And now we're going to take her to a party. And this bit is pretty chill. There isn't really too much to it. Uh, this is very similar to vanilla. Um, the the party gets ambushed by the cops, and we drive back. So, Nico, got some stuff to talk about. Let's go. Perfect. Thank you very much. We've got a lot of donations that uh, are rooting for you, my friend. we got Zola with $7 that says, Good luck, Ben. This is not Vice City hard, uh, hardline, but I guess it will do for now. It'll do for now. Yeah, absolutely. We've got Liv with $10 that says, Good luck, Ben. Proud of you. With a little red heart that says, Love from all of us here, X. We've got um, Julian with $1 that says, Props to my boy, Ben, one of the founding daddies of the GTA speedrunning. Um, regularly doing... Excuse me? Yeah, sorry. Continue. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. No, I said it purposely. It's fine. Um, <laughs> no, 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 not that. Oh, not that. Okay, whatever. Okay, okay sorry, right, sorry. No, sorry. Fine, no, 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 Josh wanted to make that good comment about him. Like, he doesn't want to do uh, everything. Uh, Actually, guys, I've been in the community longer than Ben, so you guys should talk about Ben's me. a baby in the community. He's not I'm not a baby in the community. <laughs> Just because you've been around since 1971 or whatever, like, that doesn't make me what a baby. What have started? <laughs> sorry, sorry, keep sorry, reading. Sorry, donations. Keep reading, keep reading. Yeah, yeah, donations, okay. donations. <laughs> I'll continue the message, but sure. It says, Working hard and providing top-notch entertainment. Give this guy a follow. His streams help me for a rough patch. Bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. It was a nice result. Okay, yeah. Right, there we go. Yeah, such a nice donation. And Josh is like, but what about me? <laughs> Come on, That's man. not what I meant. Let people donate to charity. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, this guy. Who invited him? <laughs> Should I read a few more? Yeah, yeah go for yeah. it. Let's go. We've got ten dollars from Aki that just does set that says less than free. We've got uh, ba uh, ba uh Baldi Sauce that's, uh, they donate twenty five dollars that says oh hey thanks and they uh, donate towards the uh, was it the Tomb Ra Tomb Raider free Adventures of Lara Croft uh, Lock Winston in the freezer. I think we should donate towards that actually. Yeah, good one. Uh, we've got uh, we got a bit of a long one here. I think I made this my last oh, one. If, if it's a long one, can I hold it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So uh, this is what we're going to talk about before with the whole like mission duping stuff. So it's quite important. So I'll give it to this. Oh, here we go. And it's also quite a tight window for me to pull this off. So give me a second here, um, and we'll talk about it. So oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Actually, to make it even better, I'm going to redo this, and I'm going to show you. <laughs> Hold it. So that is a glitch that you can activate prematurely, and I'm going to show you what it, what it looks like with the glitch and everything, because it looks really funny. Um, so basically, there is like a two-second window where you can act activate the ambulance side mission, and then it also like fails again after a few seconds, because you're outside of the vehicle. And we can use this to do like what is called a dupe and fail, OK? So I'll do it, and then we can talk about how it works afterwards, <laughs> if you're cool with that, Josh. You're, you're familiar with dupe and fails, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah OK, cool. So. What this is going to look like, it's going to look really silly, okay? I'm going to walk into this marker. A bunch of, like, really glitchy stuff is going to happen, and then the mission is just going to pass. So let me try and time this uh, this way. It's hard to do it backwards as well, which doesn't make it the easiest thing. Oh, it's you. Tell me. Oh, it's you. I thought the game just crashed. No, oh, good. oh, Jesus all Christ. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Mini panic attack. Yeah, the warning message. <laughs> so here you go. Mission pass. There you go. Just like that. Hey. All right. You want me to sort of explain what happened? Yeah, Josh. So, so what on earth happened? Then? Okay. So, I, okay. Here's what I think happened. <laughs> I'll, I'll fill in the blanks. Okay. Me. So I believe you started the mission twice mm -hmm. using OM0 trickery with the ambulance. With paramedic. With yeah. paramedic. Okay. So you started paramedic and the mission at the same time. Then you cancelled paramedic and then started the mission a second time. Mm -hmm. Yep. So when the when the mission starts, it will create like all the enemies and stuff. So like, uh, say in this mission, there's five guys on the other side of the map you need to kill. It will spawn the five guys, and it will make them and stuff. Then if you start the mission a second time using the the glitches, it will 
uh, it will, the new mission will say, oh, that old stuff doesn't matter. We're going to make five new guys, right? And this matters. But it will remember it for both copies of the mission. So both copies of the mission are now reliant on the, the second set of two of five guys, right? Uh, this is so complicated. <laughs> then, then what That's Ben why does? I let you do it. Yeah, yeah, great, thanks. Oh, sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Hurry up, Josh. Let's go. So, that, so then he fails the mission immediately after. Um, what happens when you fail a mission is that uh, if you're on mission one, uh, you'll if you sorry if you die, are you dying, Ben? Is that how you're doing it? Yes, yeah. Yes. I'm mega jumping to interrupt. Right. Okay. So he dies. When you die, it fails a mission. Uh, it fails a mission because uh, you're on mission one. So you fail the mission when you die. That makes sense. Sure. What happens is that second copy of the mission. Uh, because it fails, it despawns the five enemies it made because it doesn't exist anymore. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm not a mission anymore. He failed. I'll get rid of all the enemies I made. The first copy of the mission then goes, hey, those five guys, they don't exist anymore. They must be dead. We'll pass the mission, right? So then the, sec so the, the first copy of the mission, which didn't fail, sees that the five copies of the guys, uh, five guys have disappeared and then passes. Did I get that right? That was Bro, happening? I'm being real. If I'm at home <laughs> listening to that... <laughs> I don't even understand. What oh that my is. god! <laughs> Look, two two missions love each other very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. So and then <laughs> TLDR, right, is I start the mission twice, and like the end objective is to kill three guys. Yeah, okay. And the mission script clears them up, so the so the script goes, "Oh, they're dead." Mission passed. Simple as that. Sure. That's how I, like I, I appreciate you giving it a really long one, but I, I don't think many o people. Also, I want to bail you out of a thing. Your girlfriend donated, and you didn't react at all. I smiled at the camera. Oh, but so there's okay, proof. Right, there's proof. Okay, all right. Oh, I'm, just, oh, oh. I'm just making sure you were aware. <laughs> yeah, this guy's trying to throw me under the bus. I'm, like, I'm the one playing here, okay? Like, I'm the one under pressure. And this guy sat here just, like, backseating me on what to do. Come on, dude. Oh, that's it. Another tactical death here. Because, again, uh, we haven't got any weapons or anything. So we just want to teleport back to where the ambulance was. Um, so it's worth noting that with that whole paramedic dupe and fail thing, if you do that in these circumstances, uh, paramedic is like unusable. So if you see I pressing my button now, paramedic doesn't activate at all. So it means uh -huh. that I can't use that specific submission for any other setups later. But I still have the police car, and I still have the taxi, and I still have the, uh, the fire truck. Those are the ones that I can still use. And I'm going to use the taxi one here to set up another uh, instance of getting 30,000 rockets on this next mission. So there is a really convenient taxi spawn here, which I can use. And as you see, I can't use the ambulance. You see the button that wasn't doing anything. But now taxi driver works. I can turn it on and off and stuff. So we're going to go here. That cop almost busted me because I lost my door. That was almost bad. Um, and we're going to set up with taxi. We're going to hold the taxi button, start the rampage, let go of taxi, get out. Taxi driver fails. And you see we're back on the rampage. And we're going to use this for a very particular reason. So this mission is like usually an auto-scroller. But then the big change is that at the end, instead of just running over the guy that you're going to be tailing, um, you actually have to like, he, you would usually have to chase him in a boat. But I'm going to use the rockets to hopefully get a nice quick kill on him uh, if all goes well. And I'm going to, this uh, timing is quite tight as well. The reason why I'm using a taxi is not only for the setup, but this guy, usually you'd have to tail him. But if he's just set to like get in the nearest taxi outside of Luigi's club. So if I can go fast enough, I can just put my own taxi there, and he'll get in my taxi instead, and I can just drive him straight to that destination. But as I say, the, the timer for him leaving is quite short compared to original. So you see, I, I was pretty zoomy there, and I'm just on time. I've got to watch out for cops and stuff. I, is he coming towards me? Yes, he is. Perfect. Good stuff. So yeah, usually you would, he would go in that taxi, but um, you can just take him in your own one. And I'm pretty sure it's an intended thing, because as you can see, like the text says, take him to the Portland Heights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, the devs obviously knew that you could do this. Um, I'm surprised Dinosaur Bites didn't make it so the other taxi driver gets out and is like, well, you're trying to take my customer and shoots you or something. <laughs> yeah, and, and kills happen? you instantly in the cutscene. Yeah, that would course. be so epic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I do agree. It is interesting. Um, but it all works out nicely, I think. So this is a section where you, would, you tail him, you bring him here, and then there's 30 seconds left on the timer which is just enough for this next segment. And I'm going to do a bit of like in-cutscene movement here so you won't see it, but I'll skip this cutscene. And then it shows him like running away, and I'm just going to hold S for a few seconds because you can move in this cutscene. And you'll see me like just pop out a little bit there at the top right, I don't know if you saw it, which puts me here, and then I can just shoot him like this, and he's dead. Okay, all right. So you can cool, just get cool. a really nice quick kill on him. And then because the rampage is running, we load the save, and we've got the 30,000 rockets again, as you can see. There we go. The only problem with doing this is you then despawn your taxi because you load the save. So your only choice of vehicle is this big truck. 
and we've got to drive it up a hill, which is just terrible. Mm. At least it's not uh, raining. Yeah, true. It's not raining. It could do in 10 seconds because I haven't been keeping an eye on the wheels. Oh, okay, okay. So we never know. Oh, yeah, that's set in this game, isn't it? Yes, yeah. exactly. It's on a fixed cycle. Uh, but yeah, so while we're on the way to the next mission, Nico, uh, Josh, just maybe stay quiet for this one. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Josh, you can feel free to talk. Okay, to I okay. Will, yeah. All right, so we've got uh, $80 from Guy Sakari that says, Man, GTA 3 got complex. Great run and incredible explanations from the runner couch. Keep it up. And may the RNG be with you. See, they like my commentary, Ben. Your Ooh. commentary. <laughs> okay. I'm staying out of this one. <laughs> uh, we got uh, $40 from Dreamseeker underscore 42 that says a shirt, shirt, and a wish. Did not know that I could get, I, I get make a cake and eat it today. Thank you for all of the entertainment uh, you have given me and everyone else and for all the money you've raised for charity, ESA Love. Thank you very much for that forty dollars, and you do get your ESA winter shirt, and you put it towards the Lock Winston in the freezer target for the Tomb Raider free. Don't forget when you are donating as well, you can also double dip, and you can do um, targets and rewards for your donations. So that way, you get the extra amount of incentive for your buck, basically. Um, Popeter donates ten dollars. Is this GTA Six? No, Jesus. Well, there's your answer, Popeter. All right, cool. Uh, thanks for the ten dollar donation, buddy. Um, time for a few more. Go ahead. Awesome. Uh, we got uh, Kesson Chu with $5 that says, awesome run, lots of fun. Just want to point out the fine gentleman playing and commentating that Alt GR is the only acceptable sprint button. Alt GR. Alt GR. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gra. That's oh, yeah. how I would say it. Yeah. <laughs> Alt GR? Is that the one? That's the one on yeah, the right, on the right side. side. Yeah. That what is the so hell? Weird. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. There's always one person that's like, no, guys, look at me. I'm more weird than Josh. Like, <laughs> what are you? Okay, man. Like, weird flex, but okay. No, thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah. Who, who, who's heckling me from the crowd? <laughs> go on, no, go on. Go on. I've taken my headphone off. Circle? That's I'm on a keyboard, man. What planet are you on? <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get back to the run. So, anyway, so we pull up here, and the big thing about this is, as you'll see on the boat, there is just like a million dudes. That's basically all it is. And also, eight ball just will start running immediately. So I'm gonna little, I'm gonna yeah, like nudge yeah, him a little nice, bit and nice. run him over. <laughs> um, and then we're just gonna start blasting with rockets here. So you see, there's a bunch of dudes up here, bunch of dudes there. And if I were to try and like fight my way through this, eight ball would run up with me. Usually he only attacks when I attack first, but in this he doesn't. He just goes straight up. So he would just die to any one of these dudes because they all have AKs. I'm gonna deliberately pick up a few AKs because I'll need it later on. Because we're done with like death warping and stuff now, so I do actually need uh, guns. I'm deliberately sat there, if you're wondering, because I don't want to just shoot my rocket. Yeah. That's the only reason why I'm uh, messing about there. Uh, make sure everybody's dead. Got a sniper rifle as well. This is what you're intended to use as a sniper rifle, but yeah. Why are you zooming good. in when they're right in front of you? Because you? You, can't, you can't no scope with a sniper rifle. No, but I mean, you, you like, you, you scroll wields. Oh, just, just like muscle. Memory, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. You're too slow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, why waste I'm the bad, time bro. scrolling? <laughs> all right, Josh, if you want to play that game, it's an auto scroller until 8 ball gets oh, the thing. Oh, okay. Oh, so right. scroller, if you okay, want to start armchair expert, <laughs> me, at least be right, okay? Come on. So, there's something that I'm doing uh, very particular here. I've got 5 star wanted level, and I want to load the auto save to get rid of it. But the autosave only triggers if you're on foot, because you can't like save the game in a vehicle, right? So I'm kind of playing a little risky here, but it's deliberate. Uh, because this car, I'm just going to send it straight up the hill, and there's FBI and stuff after me. Um, but obviously, if I'm up on the grass, they usually can't get to me too much. I have to go on the road a little bit here, so this is where it becomes risky, because the FBI five stars can just absolutely destroy you. Uh, but then we're going to go back around here. This is a little bit of a safety strat. There, there is also a police bribe here. Which then means that only the SWAT team are coming after you, not the FBI. Don't know if that really helps me at all. They're equally as deadly. But then I'm going to go here. Hello, Mr. FBI man. He hasn't despawned yet. And I'm going to get out, and that's going to trigger the autosave right here. So then I have an autosave right next to where the mission is. And then I can go ahead and load the save and get rid of the cops. Obviously, usually, you could just load the save immediately, as I said, at the docks. But then I'd have the same problem where I wouldn't have a fast car to drive back up here. I would be forced to use the Yankee, which is that really slow van. So then I'd have to hand it over to Nico again, and then Josh would start making it about him again, and then <laughs> like, I wouldn't be able to talk about anything to do with the Mate, run. This yeah? time it's about you. Charlie donates $5 and says, now you've gone and done it, Ben. Liv is fuming in your Discord. 
Why is she <laughs> human in my face? Oh, God. And after all that, I'm in the doghouse afterwards. Isn't that great? <laughs> Fantastic. Look, all I'm saying, Ben, is if my girlfriend donated, I would speak. Sorry, Nico, can you stop a second? Of course. Thank of course. you. And then I would let Whoa, you continue. Josh, who do you think you are talking to my donation room like that? That is unbelievable, man. Stop it. That's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Josh. If your girlfriend donated, come on, man. No, that's what I mean. That's what I would have said. If, oh, right. Yeah, I thought yeah, you were just mugging off Nico. No, no, you, Nico, no. shut up, bro. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> just telling them to shut up. Why. For God's sake, that's the example. Right. Josh, we don't always see ITI. That's my bad. All right, I'll take I'll take that on that one. My bad. Oh, dear. Yeah, but Nico, I think we need a uh, recomposition <laughs> moment for a second. <laughs> $70 from Misoka, and it says, since I put money towards that disguise for Lego Pirate of the Caribbean, here is a pirate pun. What does a pirate name his dog? The plank. That's why he's always walking the plank. What? Oh, walking the plank. Ah, like a dog. You walk a dog, but you walk a plank. There's a slow clap from Misoka. Yeah, There's a slow, slow clap. clap yeah. the audience. I'm yeah. going to keep it real with you guys. I don't get it. <laughs> Okay, I don't need to say anything. Here. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch the pod back. Then you can then you can pick it out, okay? Yeah? The amount of times that people donate puns like and do it on my stream and stuff, and I just don't get it at all. Uh, but thanks for the donation, you know. Um, so, really okay. quick, I'm just going to say, uh, this is the end of Portland, and uh, this is like a huge thing for casuals that don't know how to fly the Dodo, because obviously the Dodo is like never intended to be flown. It's like a really infamous thing. Um, so what you would do is you would have to like taxi the Dodo all the way over, like drive. But if you're like an absolute legend like me, you can actually just fly over and crash land it. And we did look into like potentially using the Dodo for the rest of Staunton and stuff, because it's right there waiting for us. Um, but like it, that hasn't been looked into too much yet. Yeah, yeah. you made it look really easy, but flying that plane is like, it's not intended. Yeah, it's not like, easy. The, the you, controls like, are completely backwards. Yeah, yeah, default, yeah. You, so usually you would think if you're going to drive a Dodo, you would go and then you would like hold back to take off. But if you do that, you just plummet immediately. You've got to use like the regular momentum and then tap down in order to make it stop going up by default. Yeah, yeah. Like, and if that sounds confusing, it is. Like the controls make no sense at all. Um, but yeah, sorry, go ahead, Nico. Faye donates $5 that says, proud of you, Ben, less than free. Oh, thank you, Faye. That's so kind of... <laughs> is, it, is that actually you? Yeah, it is actually. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you, Faye, for the donation. Josh was Very about lovely. to be like, oh, no, it's a fake donation. <laughs> you <wouldn't get> it. <laughs> but then we've got Dinosaur Bites back again with $10 that says, listen, you two, if you don't stop fighting, I'm going to turn this rumor around and nobody gets five guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, dinosaur bite. Sorry, Rob. Sorry. All right. Oh, we'll, we'll get back to it. Uh, so this is quite a chaotic mission. I know they all are, but this one is especially so. So we've got three stars, and we're going to come in here. And some of these guys have, like, M16s and stuff. That is just, like, a black screen talking about, like, the mission progressing. Don't worry. But I've got to go in here, and I've got to, there's a car coming at me, which is very strange. And then I've got to shoot these guys, and eventually uh, Salvatore is going to come out. That went really well. Okay, that was good. So basically what can happen there is he can spawn at the front or the back. And if he spawns at the front, I don't remember exactly how it works, but it's like not random. It's just based on your actions. But if he spawns at the front, you have to not only deal with the police, but also all those guys with the M16s and stuff. Uh, so luckily that didn't happen. I've actually got, you know, fairly fortunate there for once. Usually the rest of this run has gone terribly, but that went pretty well. That's a good one. Sorry, sorry if I missed it, by the way, but why are you have Tommy's clothes? Oh, so th there's a, yeah, you, you never see this in the mod. Um, but basically, during, you know, the, where we just went to the boat and we did that big mission there? Yeah. Uh, there's like an Easter egg where if you go to the, it, you, you get a pager from Tommy and he tells you to like meet him at the lighthouse. And if you go, he gives you a rocket launcher. Oh, okay. And he's got like, you know, like an AI voice, you know, like Tommy's AI voice telling you, like, you know, oh, these weapons aren't good enough. Use a rocket launcher instead. And then you go and do that. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, but obviously we have 30,000 rockets already. So yeah. we, don't, we don't need to go there. Sick mega jump, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, that's yeah. a cool one. Uh, it, that, that one, is, I won't try and, you know, BS you with it. That's really easy to do. You just aim Claude at the jetty. That's all you have to do. There are some difficult ones, but that one probably looks the coolest, but it's the easiest one out of them, probably. Because there's like no risk of death because you fly so far over that you then like slow down enough, you know, so where like your momentum doesn't kill you. Yeah, all good. So this is where um, we're gonna start like a big setup. So you know what we were doing before with the whole like, you know, on mission zero manipulation and stuff? This is where we're gonna start doing it. But the issue is, is that we have to do it. But the first time I attack anybody on this mission, I get five stars instantly. And that's why I made that cop bribe. 
Um, Josh, while I do this, do you want to talk about like cop bribes and how they can kind of be abused? Yeah, so uh, earlier we, 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 he had a replay of a rampage that he was using. So every time we watched the rampage or watched the replay, he would pick up the rampage. Now he's recorded a replay on top of a bribe star instead. Um, so every time he watches the replay that will come up, uh, by the way, it says cheating at the top left when he watches a <laughs> <Yes>. replay, <laughs> which is very funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, so when he watches the replay now, he'll pick up the Bribe Star instead. And he can just watch it repeatedly because it's in the past. It doesn't actually pick up the Bribe Star, like removes it. So you can just spam it and he'll lose all the wanted stars. So I guess you keep that for the rest of the run? Uh, we'll replace it later on, but there's right, way okay. more to talk about later on yeah. when we replace that. So yeah. for, for, for the time being. Yeah, this is like a common, like, I, when I do GTA 3, like, any percent runs, the only replay I use is it's the just Bribe that. Star, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just every, all the whole run, you're just like, police stars, police don't exist. I just yes. keep watching this replay and they go away. Yeah. Yeah, it's really useful. Yeah. Also, I like how they're just rocketing these guys instead of oh, yeah. oh, this guy fell. Oh, nice. Him. Oh, no. Uh, he fell. That's sad. Rip that guy. Yeah, uh, so yeah. now he's gonna watch the replay a bunch of times and lose all the wanted level. Obviously, yeah. because like I'm still causing a bit of chaos here, like the stars are gonna stay. You but the get... important bit, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I thought you were gonna get busted. Then that would have been so funny. That would have been good. There's no more police guys instantly busted. <laughs> yeah. Would have been hilarious. The important bit is that I have five stars. Because if you have five stars, the FBI has AKs and they just shoot you dead instead. Right. They'll yeah. kill you so fast. Mm -hmm. Like when you stand there, they all like obviously just crowd around you and you beat the mission and then just get dropped if you're not quick enough. So here I'm doing the exact same thing before, where I'm like running into an innocuous place, and I'm making a another rampage replay. So it's right here. Oh, okay. You don't keep the bribes that long. No, 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 no. Yeah. But we'll, as I say, we'll we'll also replace this rampage replay pretty soon. But we'll talk about that later. Don't worry. Because uh, that is like an entirely new replay dedicated to this mod that you've never seen before, okay, and okay. it's the most broken one so far. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's the whole thing. But we'll, we'll you know walk before we can run. Right. So what I did there is I used the uh, the FBI car, which has Vigilante built in, because it's still a police car, right? And I uh, set up the Rampage there. This is fine if I lose this car, I don't need it. Uh, kept it, okay, good. We're going to switch out in a second anyway. Um, but yeah, so I have the rockets now, I have the uh, replay set up, and I just used that, the FBI car with Vigilante to make the replay. We'll be using that in two missions from now. This mission is a very quick one. It's very quick in vanilla as well. Um, but the, the sort of change is that this guy, instead of going over here, he actually runs this way and comes back onto the jetty. So if I meet him halfway, I can actually kind of spawn kill him. So he comes here, and if I just aim around here, he'll teleport onto the shore, and I'll just rocket him. And that's him, oh, just nice. like that. Ooh. Yeah, that's a pretty clean shot. Uh, you see that you've done it, even though the mission doesn't pass right away, because you get, like, that outfit delivered to the wardrobe, right? So, uh, this mission is uh, Payday Foray. It's called Bean to Cop in this. Um, this is the infamous mission in GTA 3 where you've got to go around and answer all the payphones. Uh, in GTA 3 Vanilla, this is already quite a difficult mission. Uh, but in this, there are uh, Espresso to Go stalls, which we'll get into later, and guys with guns that will shoot you. Uh, but then also, you have a really tight time limit, as you can see. It's usually like three and a half minutes, but I have like just over two. So I need to concentrate now and sort of make sure I don't crash and stuff. So Nico, uh, obviously feel free to read donations. I don't need to like have full quiet time, but I'm not going to speak. As well. All good. No, I've got you covered there, my friend. Thank We've you. got $10 from Carla that says, Hi, Ben. Uh, Hi. Thank you for your GTA Vice City speedrun tutorials. I even got to do a complete speedrun in under an hour. All thanks to your love for the community and good advice for newies. By the way, I use Spacebar for running. Spacebar is the way to go. I was loving that donation until you said yeah. that. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Carla, for that. We've got Miss Oaken back once again with $25. They're putting their money once again towards the Lock Winston in the freezer um, incentive for Tomb Raider 3. But they come back with another pun that says, how about a Tomb Raider pun? Why was Lara Croft sad? Because her career was in ruins. Uh, ah, see, I get that, that one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, good. as a very smart guy, I get that reference. More slow clap, <laughs> thank slow you. Clap. <laughs> thank you for soaking for the 25. We've got an anonymous $10 donation. Once again, uh, no comments, but they, they put it towards the incentive for Lock Winston in the freezer as well. We've got uh, $5 from uh, Pipkin Pippa. That says, good luck on the run, and don't get caught by the cops. We'll try my best. I haven't, haven't yet, have, actually. Uh, yeah, true. It's, it's, it's everything else that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, police went okay. Yeah, police are going okay. Thank you. Very We've good. got $80 from Mr. Z Apple that says nothing better to watch on a Saturday than GTA, English Ben, and a Josh Jimmis as well. Well, I got good news, because huh? next Saturday, we're doing the same thing, but flipped. I'm running, yes. and he's going to flame me. Yes. It's going to be great. Exactly. I'm just... I know... Like I haven't been flaming you now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's just going to get worse. Yeah. <laughs> 
But don't forget, you can check esamarathon.com forward slash schedule to see what time it'll be on and all the other runs at the same time as well. And it's even in your local time zone, so you don't that is to, true. That is don't have to calculate anything. Yeah. Genius, that, isn't it? Technology. Uh, right, we've got more donations coming in. We've yep. got ESA Plum is back with a $5 donation that says, ESA Plum, Fumo's on sale when? That would actually be pretty cool. I'd love to have an ESA uh, uh, Plum Fumo at some point. That'd be awesome. Um, we've got uh, we've got a lot of donations from beforehand as well, so I can uh, read a few more from there. We've got um, another $1, one dollar anonymous donation. Thank you very much for your donation. No comments, but we do appreciate it as well. Um, and I think I am all caught up with the donations Three. so far. We need more. We need more. We need more. <laughs> In fact, we are literally $28 away from $4,000 raised. So if we can get at least like a $30 donation, you get one of the like uh, chaotic sound effects, which I think will be the uh, the Mario Wu. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah, get more than $25 in and you get to uh, you get to time it very, very well and see if you can get it in good timing conversation. That was actually perfectly timed because I'm right into this mission yeah, now. Perfect. And this is where we need to start explaining stuff again. So right now, I'm going to set up for an insta pass. I'm going to use like two missions to chain it. But I need the first thing I need is a taxi. And taxis are usually not super common on this road. But if you load a save, the first things that spawn in for whatever reason are taxis and cop cars. So it's very common that you'll get one here. Um, so I deliberately load the auto save there to have like a really high chance. Really high chance of spawning in a taxi, so now I can use it. So then I'm gonna hold taxi and set up another rampage replay. Uh, sorry, with the with the replay, we're gonna set up a rampage. This is the one that I have made before on the surveillance. And so the entire reason this works, if you look at the top right, I have Molotovs. When I start the mission, it's actually gonna overwrite my current weapon to grenades because it gives you grenades. Uh, gives you 30, I believe, in this mission. This is the only reason that this entire setup works is because that mission overwrites. Uh, you to grenades because otherwise I would have Molotovs here and I wouldn't be able to progress the mission like as efficiently and I wouldn't be able to like do it within the two minute time period and whatnot. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this mission. This one is quite similar to vanilla in terms of the actual strategy. You throw a grenade into the window and then you just like drop a grenade at your feet. The guy will come out of the garage and he'll drive into where you've dropped the grenade and then you know you can just run away. Uh, I did get shot quite a lot by that guy on the last mission so I'm just going to play it very safe. Because I can, like, if I miss a grenade, I might, like, you know, blow myself up or something. So I'm going to quit, play it quite safe, and hopefully these guys don't shoot me too much. Are we good? Yes, we're good. Good. Perfect. Nice. Uh, so we get five stars from beating that mission. So conveniently, we're on a timer anyway, so we might as well hand spray. And then we need to hold the taxi mission into this next mission. And essentially that will create an insta pass. Uh, Josh... You want to go ahead and basically give us a very sort of TLDR on insta passes? You already kind of did earlier. But. Uh, insta. How does this one work? Okay, so it's, it, it's literally start taxi, start arm shot. Oh, okay, all right, okay, okay. So, yeah. so, so what he's going to do? He's going to start two missions at the same time, yeah. uh, two different missions at the same time. So we've been starting like you know like. Uh, normal missions like one and then another copy of that mission together yeah. and that's fine just to quickly interrupt i'm just making another replay here if you're wondering right okay so um okay. yeah so he's but now what he's going to do is something that you normally never do in a gta speed run he's going to start two different missions at the same time yeah. what normally happens is like one mission loads and sets a bunch of memory variables to be things and then another mission loads and tries to do the same thing to the same memory value values but it's already been edited by the first mission so it just crashes like the game just crashes straight up because it's like oh that can't it doesn't work. They don't mix together, right? Yeah. But um, nine, that's what happens 99% of the time. The other 1% of the time is really weird things happen <laughs> because like the memory values just most happen to line up correctly, like the missions are uh, reading them correctly to do like different things. So what, for whatever reason here, you said taxi and the next mission, you said Ben, right? Yeah, arm shortage, which is just, just what Yeah, so for whatever reason, and this will be changed in the mod, right? Yeah, yeah. only works in the mod, though. Yeah, it? yeah, because it's it's that precise, like modding the game changes whether this works properly changes or not. Changes the script, yeah. Yeah, so for whatever reason, the two scripts line up perfectly in a way where it will just instantly pass the first mission. Yeah. Like, why is there a... So I'll, I'll, I'll explain this because I don't think I don't know if you'll see the error messages on the stream as well, or if it'll just look like the game is freezing. So this mod uses Clio, which is like a library of files that you can use. And if you do insta passes, Clio just completely freaks out and just starts throwing uh, error messages at you. Basically. Okay, okay, interesting. Um, but it doesn't crash the game; it just gives you an error, and then the game continues going. Right. I mean, it makes sense. You're doing very strange. Yeah, I, I am very much busting <laughs> yeah. this mod up right now. Yeah, it's really hard to explain, but yeah. So like most of the time, combining two different missions will just crash the game. 
but that we've seeked out the 1% that's like, oh, it actually pa insta passes this one, or yeah. oh, this one lets you buy a property on the other side of the map and stuff like that. Yeah. It's really, really weird stuff. You get like totally random effect. It's kind of like arbitrary code execution, yeah, yeah. But, but not arbitrary because it's what the devs writ written. We yeah. can't control arbitrary. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's script code execution yeah. or whatever, yeah. yeah. So I just made a replay there over that little briefcase, and as you can saw, it changed my clothes. Now that is part of the Clio mod. It's part of the reason it exists. Um, and we're on a timer now. We're waiting on that rampage timer, so we, we're just doing some like prep stuff for later on. But the biggest, most important thing is that I made that replay over the briefcase. And what that is going to do is, so there are a number of ways to like teleport around the map in GTA, right? But so many of them are limited by the fact that you can't do it when you're on a mission, right? So this particular briefcase replay, I can only use it once per like session, aka like aka like if I save and load the game, I can use it again because it like respawns. Um, but otherwise, I can teleport to that safe house at any point, even during a mission. So that might not seem super broken until I tell you that the last couple of missions in this mod basically involve you going like all the way to the other side of the map and then coming back to this safe house or like nearby. So what I'm basically going to be able to do is do everything. And instead of driving back, I'm just going to teleport back. And it saves minutes later on. Um, so you'll see that later on. But for now, I started Military Scramble, which is a random side mission. And you might think, why am I doing that? And uh, this is another dupe and fail, but it's kind of a weird setup. So I, I want to dupe and fail Evidence Dash, which is the next mission here, right? This one sat right here that's going to spawn in a second. But I don't want to start Evidence Dash and then fail it and then start Evidence Dash again. What I instead want to do is I want to transfer the sort of like mission status from Military Scramble over to this one. So I'm on Military Scramble and I start mind blowing evidence. And this is another one of these weird things that happen. And what it actually does is it dupes the mission, as you can see that sort of fade out there. And then exactly the same thing here with one small caveat. Um, if I dupe and fail this mission while I'm looking at the Bobcat, which is like the thing of choice, then I'll crash the game. But if I just get busted now, which is like another way to fail the mission, if they'll arrest me, please arrest me. There you go. I'm not looking at the Bobcat, hence the top-down camera, and I pass the mission exactly the same way. Mm, nice. So I start a random side mission, the Rampage fails, and I go on to like on mission zero, and then I start Evidence Dash, and for some reason that causes like two times Evidence Dash to begin, and then I dupe and fail it by getting busted. The simple reason by getting busted rather than dying is simply because I'm closer to my next mission. It's a very basic reason. And I have a cop car, which is a fast car. That's convenient to get. Uh, that's the simple reason there. So obviously we've just been busted, so we have like no weapons for this next section. Um, we can set up 30k rockets again with the rampages and stuff that we looked at before, but that isn't going to be until the next mission. And the next mission has a really cool setup that we'll get into. But for now, we're just going to start this mission. And as we drive back up north to where we, where we need to go, we're going to go and just get some uh, guns from ammunition and some armor and stuff. Finally, we can get armor so we can actually, you know, have more than 100 <laughs> health. You, we're only like, you know, two thirds of the way through the game or something. Um, but yeah, so while I'm driving up here and getting guns and stuff, Nico, if you've got anything to read. Yeah, absolutely. We do have a donation coming in from Sworo. From, uh, sorry, Hon. Sworo, there we go. Sworo with an O in there. Um, they give a $50 to, uh, to make a wish, and they say, Hey, everyone. Late to the watch, but hoping that the starts went well. And a huge shout out to everyone making ESA possible. Less than free. Thank you very much, Swerve. And you also do get yourself an ESA Winter shirt. Again, that ESA Winter shirt is absolutely beautiful. Again, if you do donate $40 or more, you can uh, claim the reward to get yourself a T-shirt. You can get either the Goosebert one or the ESA Winter shirt. And again, double dipping on the targets and the rewards. Put your money towards the incentives. We are looking towards that target for the Tomb Raider 3, which is the lock in the Winston. We are currently... Let me uh, try and refresh to see... Just how much money you You're too us. slow. Come on, Nico. Look, I'm trying. I'm <laughs> trying here. I'm trying. Like, iPads are hard, man. <laughs> While Nico's looking, I'll quickly just explain this thing. Um, so here, we would just have to get a cartel cruiser and get inside one. We get inside one purely just because of the fact, uh, not because we need it to get into the compound, which you usually would, um, but simply because we need these guys to spawn. And then we're just going to drive through this wall. What? This thing just doesn't have collision um, because, as you can see, where that fence would be, where it opens, there isn't collision there because it's like waiting for the fence to go inside. If oh, yeah. I feel yeah. like I'm not really making sense there, but hopefully you get Yeah, it. I, I understand. Yeah, like the fence opens sideways and it goes into the wall, so yeah. there's no collision there because the fence would collide with it. Um, I don't think that's a thing in vanilla. I think it's just a thing in the mod. Again, the developer came up with that and just said, hey, by the way, there's. <laughs> 
That's my bad. Uh, I, there's, a, there's an explosive barrel there, and I forgot to blow it up prematurely. And uh, yeah, that's what. Oh, dear. That's fine. Um, very small. Uh, You're too, too slow. slow. <laughs> How are very these small. perfectly timed every time? <laughs> They're really what good. is happening? I, I like it. Yeah. Oh, um, dear. But yeah. Oh. So, so this is a perfect example of like how easily you can fail a mission because of like one small thing that you forgot. You know, I forgot to shoot one barrel and that's it. I'm dead 100% of the time. Uh, so yeah, we just need to run up and go to uh, ammunition again. So Nico, did you find that? I uh, did indeed. And okay. literally yeah. that Sorry 50, to interrupt. No, you're before. fine. You're fine. Because literally that $50 donation that just came in has put it to 200 out of $500 towards the incentive. So we need $300 more to meet it. Also, we have raised over $4 thousand dollars already on day one so thank you all so much for your incredible donations let's see what donations just came in that caused that perfect timing it was uh guido with the 50 dollars who claimed that the esa winter shirt and uh, timed it absolutely wonderfully again thank you very much for that donation we've got uh 50 dollars from trev that says you know what it is do i i'll have to number nines a number uh, nine large. Wait a minute, this isn't Clucking Bell. Good luck on the run, Ben. I wonder what everyone's favorite Claude line is. What's your favorite Claude line, Josh? All right, it, it has to be... Uh... That's a pretty good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine is, if I had to like pick anyone, I'd probably go for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a yeah, pretty good yeah, one. Yeah. 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 yeah, really cool, really cool. <laughs> But they also do get it themselves a Gooseboat shirt. And again, they put it towards the Lock in the Winston Freezer. Um, we've got, uh, oh my goodness me, Charlie with $5. They say, Ben, have you considered that people who use Sprint as a space bar may not be a speak up due to the number of negative voices raised? <laughs> yeah, oh Ben. Oh my God. The okay. judgment. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> Charlie, that's a that's a ballsy donation. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Holy moly, I respect it. Okay, all right. We're back at the car. I promise you, I'm gonna shoot that barrel. I promise you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm saying it out loud because then I, then I won't forget. Okay. So here we are, right, guys? Remember that wall? Look, I'm driving through the wall. Look, guys, I'm a super Whoa. silly one. That's super cool. All right, there's a barrel here. Need to be very particular about shooting it, otherwise I'll die. There it is. Blue hey. and a Let's go. So this grenade here, if you're wondering, is just because there's a lot of guys on the other side and you can just like grenade them through the wall. Uh, this guy this guy is all good, AK, but all the rest of them have shotguns. So if you um, like don't pre-fire them really quickly, they'll shoot you and then knock you down and then shoot you again. And as you can imagine, it just becomes like a nightmare. So this guy's good, but then this guy around the corner also has a shotgun. There you go. Nice. This is another interior that um, yes. he's added. Yes. Dinosaur Bites has added, yeah. Do you recognize new. some of the... Uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. San Andreas assets, right? Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the Binko store, right? Yeah. There's yeah. another guy here that spawns out. And then uh, the other good thing about this is we get to keep the cop car. Um, we don't need to switch to the cartel cruiser and back and whatnot, which is what I used to do, kind of like juggling the cars. But now we save the guy, and then we can just go back out the way we came, which is just through the wall again. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we're going to go and pay and spray uh, just to get rid of the cops, because we're going to do it like a convoluted setup, and the cops just make it way too annoying. Um, so we're going to pay and spray here. In this mod, something that I didn't know for the longest time, even when I was making like an all-missions guide on how to do this, I didn't know that you could pay and spray emergency vehicles. Yeah, I was going to say, you're in a you police can't. car. How are you going to pay and spray? For some yeah, reason yeah. in this mod, you can. I don't okay. know why. But for, yeah, for, for like my entire first playthrough, and then when I started recording like a guide on how to do all the missions, I started recording the guide and I was like, by the way, you need to switch cars. And someone in my chat was like, no, you don't. I'm like, yes, you do. You know, I'm the big and mighty speed yeah, one, right? I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it turns out they were right. I did, I, you, do, you don't need to pay and spray. Uh, sorry, you don't need to switch cars to pay and spray. Huh. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Any emergency vehicle you can pay and spray. I assume anyway. Cop cars work. Is that in Titan Drayers? I'm going to have to test that. I, I would <laughs> say probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure okay. it's in Vice too. So, you know, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it could yeah, be in okay. all three of them, so this is the, the cool setup that I mentioned before. Um, this was, oh, okay, I've just thought about this. This is actually really bad, okay? So I was saying before about how new patch doesn't really matter. I was just about to tell you how this strat is consistent in the new patch. I'm not oh on boy. the new patch. Oh boy, <laughs> for God's sake. I am not on the new patch. Okay, so this is gonna be fun. I can't believe Dinosaur Bites, right? Went out of his way <laughs> to make a patch for this game just because of the ESA run and then you didn't even use it. I tried. <laughs> I can't say. believe it. That's all I'm going to say is I tried. OK, I tried my best. So <sighs> I'll, I'll explain it anyway. Okay, so, but if it goes wrong, you'll know why. So basically, uh, we're going to go ahead and set up under the 30k uh, rampage ammo thing like you know, with the rockets. The rocket rampage is here. So I'm just going to go and pick it up with Vigilante. 
Uh, I don't need to do it in a replay, because obviously it's, it's right here, so I can just do it, start Vigilante, end it, and then we've got an on Mission Zero Rampage, just like that. So now we have two minutes to beat this mission, okay? So Kenji, which is like the guy that you're going to have to kill in this next thing, usually you would, he would be in the top of a multi-story car park, and you've got to shoot him through the floor. But instead now he's in an underground car park. Oh, sorry, you would shoot him through the, yeah, you would shoot him through the floor before. But now we're above him, and we've got to shoot through like the ground on like, uh, like you know, the pavement where all the pedestrians are. And the thing that makes this inconsistent is that if you shoot a rocket and like anger a ped near you, they'll just start punching you, which then ruins my reference. But also, I can't defend myself because if I shoot the rockets, I'll yeah. die, right? And then not only that, but there's also random traffic on the street that can block the reference. So what Dinosaur Bites very nicely did is he made it so there's like a zone where the reference is where, you know, nothing can spawn. So you just do the reference and it's all good. And it, I was very excited to tell you how about how easy it is. <laughs> the problem is now on this patch, all that stuff that I've just talked about making it way harder is still here. So I'm just going to stop and just, you know, try and think this through for a second on how I'm going to do this and hopefully get away with it. Obviously, if the worst comes to worst, we need to lose a few minutes. But I would like to show this first try because it's cool. So I'm going to go ahead and go here, and I'm going to spawn in Kenji. And then the basic strategy is to go here. These pedestrians, I'm just going to hope that they don't annoy me. And I'm going to hope that there's annoying me. OK, let's go. I hear a car. I'm going to wait for it to go past. Usually those cars wouldn't be there. So now I'm going to shoot four, five, six, seven. I'm going to be, I'm going to be you know, nice to myself and just go a bit more. And now, hopefully, Kenji is dead. There's no way to know until I get to this segment here. If I get a wanted level, he's dead. Perfect. Hey. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. So I need to, now to go here. And there's a very particular bit. I have to get out of the area. But I'm still like in the area as far as the game is concerned. But if I work over just this tiny bit here, it counts me as being out of the area. Because for some reason, there is like a, a very tiny bit of geometry that is, isn't classed as being in the district. So if I were to go here, or here, or anywhere there, then I would fail. But if, uh, if I go here, I pass. Huh. And that's as simple as that. Thank God that that went right, because, <laughs> oh my goodness. That is 100% consistent uh. in new patch, and it's like 20% consistent on this version. But thankfully, it went good, because, yeah, my goodness. Oh, dinosaur bite didn't need Whew. to do all that work. It was fine. It didn't matter in the end. Just get lucky. Simple <laughs> as that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that is very nice. So now, uh, a drop in the ocean. This mission has a very tight time limit, so I need to look for a fast car. And I'm talking like, you know, a sports car or something. This Karuma, it might be good, but I'd rather not. So I'm just going to take a few seconds to be safe and try and get something better. They, they're pretty common spawns around here, so I should get something. But you know, marathon luck, you never know. Uh, that Stinger will do fine. So now with a drop in the ocean, usually this is like a very long auto-scroller kind of boring mission where you're waiting for a plane to drop a load of packages down. Um, and we're going to go ahead and pick up all the packages, but it's actually like really vital that we get there as soon as possible because the, the timer is way less, right? So as you'll see, I'll start the mission. And then it's like, oh, by the way, you have, you got to follow the plane. You have 50 seconds to get down there. <laughs> usually you have like three minutes. So I don't fail once that timer goes down, but that's when the package is getting start dropped, right? So I've got to go all the way to the docks, get a boat, and get my ass down there. And then also, it's foggy as well, which doesn't sound like a big thing, but it actually makes it really difficult to see the packages. And most of you will know, I'm super blind as it is, so I need to get like nice and close and kind of make sure I don't miss any. Because if I miss one, then a police boat will spawn and pick it up, and that's when I'll fail the mission. So, you know, you could say it's good that I, you know, don't fail the mission for a while, but it's way worse to play for two minutes and then fail at the end rather than just failing at the start, right? So, uh, give me a second here. I'm just going to drive down because we don't need this car anymore that you'll see for a second. Oh, you'll see in a second, excuse me. I'm going to get in the boat. You see, I'm like just about in time to start grabbing these packages. So the boat is all the way to the south. Oh, sorry, the plane. And you see, like, you can't even see the plane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is horrendous. Yeah. The only way to know where the packages really are, they're not on the map either, is you just look for the bright, you see, like, that little bright yeah, thing yeah. here? This is what you look for, and that's the only way to know where they are. So there's also one to my left here somewhere. Yeah, I did there see it. Is. it. Yeah, there yeah. is. And then we can sort of follow the plane. It's dropped a third one, which is there. It's just dropped number four, which is going to be on the right. Yeah, we should be mostly good. So now is where you're going to see the super broken briefcase uh, replay thing. So usually what you do in like an any percent run or like a vanilla run or a non thing with this, you know, briefcase replay is you would have to either like bribe star away and then drive back or deal with the cops. But I'm just going to teleport. And not only that, but all my wanted levels just 
disappear just like that. So now I'm with the boat stuck in the wall, but that's not a problem. Problem. I can just get out. And you saw before when I stashed this car in the locker, this was for this reason. So I can, this is a really fast armored Patriot. And it is like one of the fastest cars, if not the fastest car in the game. And it's a really nice spawn that spawns right there. Um, but if you teleport there, it won't be there because you didn't like drive into like the, you know, like the zone where it would spawn in the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so instead we park it there while we're waiting on a previous timer and then we can use it for this segment. So we've got one of the fastest cars, and as you saw, like I went all the way from the docks and skipped all the way back here, and now I'm one street away from finishing the mission. So, and the time save like doesn't end there; it gets much bigger as we go along, because as soon as this mission finishes, we're going to be onto Shoreside Island, which is like the final couple of missions of the game, and that all of them require going to Shoreside and then going back to Staunton to finish the mission, and you can just pretty much like teleport back every single time. Thank you for returning. So. What's up? <laughs> just, I just realized what Dinosaur Bites meant by judging by the loading screens, because it says the version at the bottom right every yeah. single loading screen. And here, you would think I would notice that, but I just wasn't <laughs> paying attention. Oh my god, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we avoided any catastrophe anyway, so yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, so, so what like, you know, a beta would have done is they would have gone, oh no, I need to take a second to patch the game, it only takes 30 seconds. But you know, Giga Chad Ben, I'm like, I'll just play old patch, who cares? Oh it's god. way funnier to do it that way. And you know. Oh, I'm sure just... Dinosaur Bites is laughing right now. Oh. Oh, there is no doubt in my mind that he is absolutely wetting himself at home right now. Like, he loves watching me play these things and getting mad and, you know, being... Oh, and ultimately, this isn't a world record attempt. It's all about entertainment, you know? And Josh, I think I've done my fair share of entertaining these people. You, uh, not so much. But what I think I've done a pretty good. I, I think I've done a pretty good job. Probably. Okay. At not least... to pat myself on the back too much, but I think I've done a pretty good job. Hopefully, okay. when your run comes along, you can, you know, make up your own... You know, I'll just I'll just sit and occasionally make things about me, and then you can actually <laughs> try and entertain these people. Okay. So here we're at the airport. This is we're going to grab another dodo that spawns. Uh, what Dinosaur Bites was talking about before was he actually also added in a dodo in Staunton, which you could then use. We're not going to have that, but that's fine. Uh, this guy is coming at me. I'm going to try and make sure that I get enough distance away before I shoot him, so I don't blow myself up as well. And then there's a bunch of guys here with M16s. These are very tricky because they shoot your rockets really often. So I'm going to be quite careful here to not go in and get shot. So I wait for them to sort of finish their cycle of shooting, if that makes sense. They shoot like 10 bullets and then they stop to like, you know, reload or whatever. And then, yeah, that's when I'll shoot them because then there's no chance of them blowing up my rocket. So this is where we're going to get Dodo flights in. The Dodo flight that you saw before wasn't that difficult. This one is tricky. And I'm just going to sort of, you know, kind of play by play it as we go because like even Josh won't have seen this because it's like a very tight end exclusive thing so usually here you would fly back to the construction site which is where we need to go and you would just jump over the fence and that would skip this entire like big section coming up right but Dinosaur Bites is smarter than that he's watched a speed run before <laughs> so he built the fences like really high to the point where you can't just jump over them so the strategy that we eventually came up with to skip this is you can see that green building in front of us. That's how high I need to get. OK, that, that's where we need to start, where we need to sort of aim towards. So instead, I'm going to get the dodo and I'm going to do my best. This is a hard landing to land on this building over here, straight opposite. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is what I mean. You haven't seen this before. And this is really cool if I can pull it off. So we land here. OK, that's tricky enough as it is. And then <laughs> we're going to grab a, a decent weapon, not a rocket launcher. And we're going to actually down here is better, better angle. And so there's a cut scene where Catalina jumps on this little bit here. So it has collision. I'm going to mega jump across, land on it. Oh, my. Because this actually has collision. And then I can just slowly drop in underneath everyone. <laughs> Hello. What are you oh, shotgun. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, Hold okay. on. And we're good. Oh, there you well go. done. Okay. Wow. Right so that shotgun guy gave me such PTSD because. <laughs> Fun fact for you, when I did this before, I was on PB pace. I was like five minutes ahead of PB, you know, like an actual decent run where I don't fail a million different things. And that guy shotgunned me and then shotgunned me another three times in midair. Oh. <laughs> so I dropped down and he just one shot me. And there was nothing I could have done about it. Like, it's so stupid. Oh, anyway, so now we're just driving back to Donald's uh, to finish up this mission. So we've got like a minute or so of just not really doing a whole lot. So Nico. Read some messages. Absolutely, friend. Thank you Thank very you much. That. We've got twice bidding with $50 that says this run and commentary is insanely fun. Looking forward to the rematch in San Andreas. And <laughs> at the rate that you two are explaining <laughs> with each other, you, we know it's going to be more chaos than this. Oh,
but at the same time, they do get themselves a Goosebird t-shirt as well. So, um, and they get to also put it towards the target of the Lock Wizard in the freezer. Let me see where we're at for that one as well, because I feel like we have um, had a few more donations towards it. We are currently $200 away from meeting the Lock Winston in the freezer. So we've got about, oof, how long do you think we've got about this run? Like uh, the 10, 15? Yeah, yeah, we've still got an estimate. Let's so. throw some money towards that incentive. Like I say, we're $200 away. We could definitely meet that by the end of the, uh, well, let's say, by the end of today, regardless, anyway. Um, so twice, but again, thank you for that donation. And then we've got uh, B. Brosef or BB Rosef. I forget which one it is, how you pronounce it. But they say, not shameful, honestly. Good luck to you, man. Missing you all. Thank you very much. Uh, so really quick, just to explain here, the reason why I'm saving and loading... What are you laughing at? Hi, bro, so thanks for the donation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, let's just stop the commentary, guys, and let's just, you know, just read donations and not say anything. That's the point of the marathon, is to raise money for charity, yes. Do exactly that. Josh steps away from fundraising, and now all of a sudden he wants his job out. Come on, dude. Right. Thank you for the donations, okay? I didn't mean to be mean, and I apologize, okay? But it's important to mention, the reason why I was saving and loading is what I mentioned before. The briefcase replay is only working, like, once per, like, session, okay? So every single time I use it, like I used it there to teleport back up here, I then have to save and load the game in order to make me, like, able to use it again. So I can use it at the end of this mission, and so on and so forth, okay? That's all I wanted to say, and I'm sorry, you know? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, so this this is like an interesting mission. So if you've ever seen a GTA 3, like any percent run, um, what you would do for this mission is there's a bunch of cars and you've got to like lure them into a trap, okay? But the like the vertical trigger for how high you can be to trigger them is like astronomically high. So in theory, you can th fly a dodo all the way over the map and uh, trigger all the guys and then fly down and it's way faster. In like GTA 3, any percent, it's a really cool strat that you can do. Yeah, really cool. Right? So, Dinosaur Bites, in order to kind of make it more difficult to do that, not necessarily impossible, but make it really hard to do, was he added fog, okay? So obviously fog, your visibility is really limited. Now, if you're an absolute legend, you could do Dodo Bait anyway, and just go ahead and just do it regardless. There are people that also shoot you at each point, but as long as, you, again, you're, you're fast enough, you can just fly past them all, and it would save quite a bit of time. But I tried it a couple of times, and it is not easy to do with the fog. Like, you wouldn't think it's that big of a change, but not being able to see, like, the buildings and stuff and the trees in front of you, you'll just hit them before you even know that they're there. Like, it's, it's really tough to do. So instead, we're just sort of driving around in a loop and triggering all the guys. But the most annoying part about this is that if any of these guys that are following me don't properly go into the trap, which is obviously, like, kind of out of my control, right? Because it's, like, AI randomness, you know, nonsense. But also... I can't shoot these guys because I need to stay into my I need to stay in my car, otherwise I'll fail the mission. So I need to rely on AI on sort of my team, which is the Yakuza, to also kill these guys before they kill all of us and kill me. Because if I die, the mission fails. If all of my teammates die, the mission fails. And if they see me, the mission also fails. So as you can imagine, like this is uh, pretty annoying to deal with. So hopefully, the ideal thing is that we drive them in all at the same time. Or they come in like slightly staggered. So this guy's gonna come in like right after me and then the second guy comes in like 10 seconds later. So that gives the AI 10 seconds to deal with the first guys before it just starts becoming pure chaos. So hopefully, with any luck, um, the AI won't be too bad. This guy who's right next to me here on my left now is like the absolute Giga Chad with the shotgun. Ideally, he does most of the damage. So let's rely on him to do it. That's a good hit, good, nice, that's clean. But it's still gonna do it three more times. But on the third one, once these guys, uh, like the final guys, are in the trap, I can get out and just shoot them with the rockets. But I can only do it for the third guy. So second guy is coming in in just a second. Hopefully, they will also kill this guy pretty swiftly as well. Shotgun guy just is not reacting, but there's, okay, oh, yeah, rest yeah. of them did it good. Okay, that's good. Uh, the most annoying thing about the second guy is the shotgun guy can be blocked by the corpse of the first car because they park behind him. So that's like why sometimes he doesn't attack. But as soon as these guys remove themselves from the map, which is now, I can just get out and shoot them before they shoot. Oh, oh, shotgun guy. That shotgun guy, <laughs> he, he ate the rocket as well, which is absolutely legendary. <laughs> Shout out shotgun guy, he's my boy. Uh, but yeah, so now I load the save. I've lost my car, but I've gained the ability to teleport again, which means I can now come all the way back to the safe house. And this is what I meant about the insane time save, right? So we're all the way back at the other island straight away. Uh, sometimes the trigger, you have to jump in order to like trigger things again, like saving the game and stuff. 
But yeah, so now we just save and load and we do the same thing. And we can just teleport at the end of the next mission, so on and so forth. So this saves like, I want to say probably like five minutes of driving back after every single, you know, like total across the rest of the run. So yeah. Next mission is Espresso to Go, which is a very infamous mission, probably the most infamous infamous mission in GTA 3, if I had to guess, right, Josh? Like, most people talk about Yeah, yeah, yeah Espresso right? to Go. Yeah. yeah. And it's really hard in vanilla. Um, it's not too bad in this. It's not too much change. Like, vanilla is what makes it, like, 80% of its difficulty. Right. And the reason why is because um, in vanilla, you have to destroy a bunch of those coffee stalls, you know, that I showed you during Payday for Ray, where I had to shoot a couple of them. But they're unmarked on the map. So this mission starts you here, and it's like... You've got to destroy these things. We're not going to tell you where they are. And also, they're across, across the entire map. Good luck. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, that's yeah, basically yeah. it. So they give you one stall, as you can see on the map. But then if you shoot that, the timer starts. And it doesn't show you where any of the other ones are until you get close to them. And the kicker in vanilla, that actually makes it really fun. This mission is really fun. Uh, sorry, not in vanilla, in Titan is there are bonus stalls. Like, this one doesn't exist in vanilla right here. But the most important thing, as you'll see, when I shoot this, the game is now, I think, two times speed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the game is just now running twice as fast, which makes it twice as difficult to drive and also makes it twice as difficult to, you know, shoot and deal with combat and stuff. So I've got to be, like, twice as quick on my reflexes. <laughs> and also the timer is going down twice as yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't actually have seven minutes. I have more like three, if I'm lucky, to shoot all these guys down. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be going through here. And there is, as I say, there is um, there's one... Uh, stall. It's not an extra stall. Excuse me, I misspoke. It's just moved from a regular location. So there isn't one in the park here, which would exist in vanilla. Instead, there is five total, and the extra one that was moved was the first one that I destroyed on Liberty Campus. So the last one is here. This is a vanilla spawn. This is normal. And then we're going to go to Portland deliberately. So usually you wouldn't go to Portland here first uh, in a regular like driving expressor to go route because it wouldn't be faster. Um, because we're going to be going east, and then we'd have to go all the way west across the shore side. Um, but, yeah. So, we're going to go across this Portland. But the reason that we're doing it is because we need to go all the way into what is called Hepburn Heights, which is like, I think it's called Diablo's territory. But it's a gang, basically, that will get very annoyed at me and will shoot me a lot. Um, and also, the, uh, so the, the Mafia members are very annoyed at me because I betrayed them earlier on in the story. Obviously, we skip all the story, but all that you need to know is that two gangs are very annoyed at me right now. So this stall is in Mafia territory, this one that I'm coming up to now, and they can shoot me dead very quick, so I need to be very, you know, in and out, don't mess about too much. And the exact same thing with the second one, but it's basically the same thing again. So in vanilla, you only have one in the territory where it's dangerous. But the kicker in Titan is that this one is in another really dangerous territory. So I'm going to pull in here. This is where it is. I'm going to get in. Oh, sorry, get out. Blow it up. Get in and immediately teleport away. And this is where this strategy comes from. So now we've spawned all the way back to Staunton again. And now we can just head straight to Shoreside for the final two stalls. So again, we've basically skipped all the way back across the map. Yeah, and then yeah. we just destroyed two more stalls. Yeah, that's really um, good. Because especially, yeah, this mission, it takes place on the middle island. Yes. And you need to go to the left island and the right island. So it's yeah. like, however you route it, you have to like travel the entire map. Yeah, there's, there's no way to like start on the left island and yeah, do yeah, like yeah, a yeah. logical route. Yeah. Uh, but obviously this one, you skip half of the journey by, having t by being able to teleport yeah. around. So this one, uh, for some reason in Shoreside, I don't know if it's intentional or what, but these are just the vanilla, vanilla locations. So this one is here. This is very normal. Shit, this one. And then the next one is up at the hospital. Again, we don't see it on the map, but I know where it is. Um, and yeah, then as soon as we finish the mission, we're going to load the autosave again. And the single reason why we're going to load the autosave is just what I mentioned before. We want to get that briefcase teleport again, because all of these missions that we're doing, they start back at Staunton, uh, at the, um, what's it called, the construction site. So I'm just going to teleport back there. Again, I'd have to drive here and take like a two-minute loss here. Um, but we're going to teleport back. So we're going to blow it up. Wait for the mission to pass, which just takes like a second. There we go. Start mission done. And we're on to the penultimate mission. So I'm going to load the save, and then we'll teleport back straight away. Uh, Nico, while we start this next mission. Absolutely, yeah. Let's do it. I've got, like, I've got a donation for you here right now. They say, uh, from $5 from Hosel. That says, good luck, brother. May no big fails come up towards the end. And I think Thank they might have been awesome. talking about that, that the one with the, like, the, the shotgun guy and everything like that. That would have been possibly what they might have been referring to. Or, you know, any mission in this Or any mission, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so thanks, thank you so much for the $5. Also, I should mention at the end of the message, I put a little winky face, so I think it was intended anyway. Thank you, Arsenal. Um, <laughs> 
Ben M. Thanks for the winky face, asshole. <laughs> like, is that what you want me to say, yeah, Josh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, good stuff. Uh, ben M donates forty dollars. They get themselves a Goosebird T-shirt, and they literally say, "I can't wait to explain the Goosebird T-shirt to my colleagues." I mean, without any context, it's just a goose that says "honk." It's yeah, better yeah, without yeah. context. I, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole like you know, don't elaborate thing is just way funnier <laughs> in my opinion. It's just, like, yeah. just like rocking up like to like uh, to your nearest like colleagues like "honk," and then they just leave it out. They walk <laughs> out. That's it. It's the same situation, but it's like capitalized on a T-shirt. Sure. <laughs> That's, I think that's just like harassment. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think workplaces have policies to stop yeah. people doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that meme where like it's a workplace. There's like two panels. Like this is harassment. This isn't, or whatever. Yeah. The, the 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 goose doing it, fine. The person doing it, maybe <laughs> not so much. Not okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what we mentioned before about. <laughs> about um, a drop in the ocean where it was like, oh, you have 50 seconds until things start happening with the, uh, the mission. This is 10 seconds. So I'm not even on the right island for this. And it's like, oh, by the way, the mission's happening without you. So great, we're gonna go down to the, uh, to the section as soon as possible. So here, it's quite a tight window. We've gotta go ahead and drive down to the airport, which is where the plane is gonna land. In, in the like, intended way, you're supposed to like, get a boat and shoot it down before it lands on the airport. Um, and then, you know, like, grab all the packages in a boat and drive, uh, sorry, like, how do you say drive for a boat? Do you say drive? Uh, sail? 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 Yeah, Pipe. I guess sail, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you sail back, um, and, yeah, that, that would be, like, the intended way to do it. But the mission only fails if the, uh, plane gets to the end of the runway. So as long as we blow it up, like, just before the end, then we should be fine. But as I say, it's particularly tight, and also, there are guys here, which I'll show you in a second. And these guys have rockets, so I need to be very careful to quickly shoot these guys before they deal with me. So yes, yeah, good. Uh, I only knocked him over. He's not dead, but it's fine. As long as I blow up the car, that's all that really matters. And then we're just about in enough time to shoot this. Um, so yeah, this is a fairly tight shot. If you miss it, we have to do the mission all over again. So let's not choke this. Uh, choke this a few times before. We have a few seconds. If I choke this, I'll donate a ton to charity. How about that? So now you care. Gosh, I'm trying to... <laughs> I choked it. No. Oh. oh no, guys! I have to donate to charity. That's so terrible. <laughs> Remind me to donate ten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still good for estimate? Yeah, we're fine. Uh, teleport. We go again. I don't think I've ever actually missed that shot, which is funny. So I could have gone like, oh, I intentionally did it, but I didn't. I'm just, I'm just bad. I'm I, hope just bad. You, I hope when you donate, you leave a really lovely message and the runner just blanks it. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, bro, really enjoy like the, uh, I don't know, like the you know, San Andreas run hypothetically. And yeah. just like, look at the camera and then just... <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know, exactly what you did to live. I didn't do that. Okay, I'm not having this. There is, there is evidence on video that I turned and smiled. Uh, so, you know, somebody clip it and ship it in the chat. I want to I prove him wrong. I we'll, put it, we'll put it in the highlight reel later. It's fine. Yes, it's fine. exactly. Yes. We'll just do like a big slow zoom. And that's yeah. it. Exactly. If Josh, if, if I didn't smile, I'll donate 100 quid to charity. Oh. If I did, which I know I did, Josh will donate 100 quid. Will I? No, hang on. I since know you the... care, no, 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 you care no. about charity so much, Josh. I'm not saying you didn't smile. I'm saying that's not enough, Ben. Are you backpedaling now? No. That is what I've always <laughs> said. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming to the Ben and Josh comedy special. I appreciate it. We're here every night, like 11 p.m. onwards after the watershed. You know, we uh, have some banter. Uh, but yeah, so... It's probably important at some point to start talking about the final mission because the final mission is probably like the most ridiculous mission um, in the entire thing. So I don't want to get to a point where I, you know, run out of time to explain it. Um, so we can start talking about it now while I drive back. So uh, in the exchange, right, which is the final mission, you pay 500 grand to Catalina, who's the person who betrayed you all the way at the start. And uh, you pay like a ransom for Maria, who is like your new kind of girlfriend. It's a whole like complicated love triangle thing. Don't worry about it. Um, but you have Maria, and but then she actually gets kidnapped again because Catalina like isn't to be trusted, right? So you give her the money, and she still betrays you. You're too time. slow. I'm trying my best. Okay. <laughs> so she comes along, and she betrays you a second time. Yep. And then you spawn in, and you have no weapons because they strip all of your weapons from you. And then you have to fight through like a massive set of guys in the vanilla game. Titan is that, but like on steroids. So you have to go into the dam in a new modeled interior, which Josh would like, but I'm not going to show you it. Apologies. Oh. Uh, but you, you can always play the mod for yourself, you know, later on and see it. 
Um, and it's like a huge damn interior, and you fight all the way through these guys. And there's even another boss fight that is only in Titan. Uh, that is Miguel, which is like Catalina's new boyfriend or like, you know, crime partner. And you have to deal with him as well. So it's like a whole new segment. Um, but that is going to be entirely skipped uh, later on, and I'll explain why. Let me just make sure this one guy's dead, because he scares me. Right, let's go. Is this another 10 if you miss? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, not to brag or anything, but I have $20 of uh, expendable income. <laughs> All right. My hands are so sweaty, man. All the gamer gun cord getting all over my keyboard. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Good stuff. So, as you can see, the plane blows up, and I have like six stars, which is really bad. Again, you would you would be intended to drive back here with six stars, or go to the pain spray, which is like really inconvenient. Uh, but again, we're going to use the briefcase to just go ahead and you know get rid of our wanted level and teleport straight back. So this is like probably the biggest time save because you just pick it up, teleport back, and you're good to go. And we're right back where the mission was. So that is, yeah, like, it's such a huge time save. It's crazy. Um, it's, like, it's... It, unless you're familiar with, like, how long it takes to do this mod the normal way, you know, like, without skipping all the big boss fights and stuff, it, it, it can't be... Um, can't be overstated just how much time you save doing this. Uh, but, yeah, so that's the second last mission done. We're on to the final one, which is... Uh, not Ransom. It's called The Exchange. But Ransom is just basically telling you, like, you've done a good job. Now you need to go up to Catalina's place. Um... So if we're on new patch, we'd actually be able to fly up here, which would be like a minute saved or so. Um, but instead, we've got to drive and go back to Catalina's place. But this is actually kind of a benefit because it gives me more time to talk about um, everything that we've discussed because we've still got the final mission to go ahead. Um, so there's like a bit of history that I need to tell you about the different strats and stuff here. So there is a vanilla strat that is called Crash Change, okay? And basically, the reason it's called that is because it's an exchange strategy that unless you do it in very specific circumstances, it crashes your game, but it crashes it during the credits, okay? Mm. So the credits is like after the run is already complete. So if your game crashes there, it doesn't matter, right? Like the game close doesn't make a difference. Like the timer stops way before that. Um, so, and also if you do it like from a save or anything like that, your game crashes 100% before the timer would stop, okay? So because we've loaded lots of saves because of the auto saves abuse and things like that, and we've did like safety saves and things, if we did it, we would just crash the game 100% of the time. It doesn't work, okay? But the reason why that strat is significant to this, even though we're not going to use it, is because the way it works is Catalina has a helicopter that's coming in, okay? And the two, like, uh, what's the word? Like, parameters is the right word to complete this final mission is to, you need to destroy Catalina's helicopter and rescue Maria, right? Maria only spawns once you destroy Catalina's helicopter. So Catalina's helicopter is the first one that we need to deal with, right? Catalina's helicopter does spawn as soon as you start the mission and start, you know, messing about. But the problem is that um, it is explosive proof. So if you shoot rockets at it, which is like the only thing that you have or shoot guns at it, it doesn't do anything. So usually what you would have to do is you would have to fight through all this, you know, massive um, boss fight and everything just to then make it so Catalina's helicopter can be attacked. That's the main important thing. But during crash change, uh, you can actually use like replay abuse in order to get rid of like the proofs of the helicopter and blow it up prematurely, right? But that doesn't work, as I've said. So instead, we're going to have to do something really silly. And this is really good. I like this, so I hope you like it too. Uh, Josh, I don't think you've probably ever seen this no, either, because no. this is like really weird GTA 3 stuff. So there are like uh, quite a different, this is quite a complicated mission script, right? So there are like fail safes that will cause the mission to continue, even if we do super weird stuff. So what I'm going to do... You're too slow! I'm at the end. I'm at the end. I promise. Stop heckling me. <laughs> right? So I'm going to go down here. And instead of going towards a dam, I'm just going to go down here to the tunnels. And I'm going to drive to a specific point. And that's because for some odd reason in the vanilla script, this isn't even part of the mod, it's vanilla script, like, you know, that we're abusing here. If we go down here and then we turn around, for some odd reason, Catalina's helicopter is scripted to despawn and another one spawns in. But the most important part is that new one that spawns in... They forgot the proof. ...isn't explosive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now all we need to do, we've done that, and that's the entire mission, right? It looks ridiculous, and I assure you it is. So usually we'd have to go to the dam and fight all these guys. Uh, wait, I'll show you. Here, you see those like cars and stuff there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pointing at the screen. You, know, <laughs> but you, you get what I mean. Um, yeah, so you'd have to go fight through all those guys. It takes like three minutes. It's absolutely absurd. But instead, we're just going to mega jump, and we're going to go all the way across to the end. And as I say, Catalina's helicopter is waiting for me, but it wouldn't, I wouldn't usually be able to like, interact with it in any way. 
but it just so happens that I can do the whole like remove the proofs thing, but also another fail safe in the GTA 3 any percent, uh, sorry, not any percent, vanilla mission script is that this is a cool little mega jump, by the way. It's like a lot of damage nice. doing it, but yeah, all good. So now we just need to wait for uh, Catalina to land, which she's going to do in just a second. And there is another fail safe. So usually Maria would not even spawn here if I destroyed the helicopter. But because I do it uh, in a way that ex like abuses the vanilla fail safe, I literally just shoot it, it blows up, and Maria spawns in her vanilla location, which means I can just run, and that's time. Just like that. Hey. That's the entire final mission. Usually she would spawn inside the dam, and you would have to go and yeah, hide yeah, it regardless. But yeah. So two vanilla failsafe abuses in order to skip the entire final mission. Yeah. There we go. Nice. I would just like to say as well, I had a bet with Fresh Riggy that said um, we would have to buy a drink if I went under or overestimate. So obviously if I go underestimate, I don't have to buy the drink. I'm underestimate. Let's go. I don't have to buy the drink. Let's go. Yeah, I will say like I, I'm giving you a lot of crap, but that is very impressive. This is a yeah. it's a really hard mod. Yes. Like everything is like absolutely brutal. Tech just said barely there. I'd like to let you know. Yeah, barely just they say, "Oh my god, that's amazing." Yeah. Yeah, heckled, heckled from the crowd, heckled, heckled, heckled from the crowd, from the producers, from my people behind me. But I still went underestimate because I'm the best. I'm the best. Okay. Uh, but yes, I will also point out he's in charge of the schedule. He can set whatever estimate he wants. Absolutely. Yeah, I guess two hours, all good. Uh, but yes. Yeah, so so I want to take some of your time. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, thank you to Nico as well for being on the couch. Thank you for Josh. As much as we like to banter each other, of course, he wouldn't be here unless he was a vital asset to the commentary. Uh, so all jokes aside, thank you to everyone in the room for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you to everyone at home for enjoying it. If you do enjoy these type of GTA speedruns, obviously we have a massive community with loads of guides and stuff like that. Um, that you'll enjoy. I'm going to close this because it might be potentially DMCA. I'm not sure. Um, but yes, we'll be back very soon on uh, how many days is it until your run? Five, six days until something? Seven. Seven. Well, oh, it's, it's all the way Saturday. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Next Saturday for Titan Dreas, which is also a mod that has never even been done before at a marathon, right? It's not even out yet. Yeah, it's not even publicly available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one, you've never seen it at a marathon before. That one, you can't even play it if you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how, you know, Josh is a really famous streamer. <laughs> and, you know, I have it. Yeah. Gets the privilege, yes. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Thank you so much.